It says, if God's grace doesn't help the builders, they will labor in vain to build a house. If God's mercy doesn't protect the city, all the centuries will circle it in vain. It's really a senseless to work so hard from morning till late at night, toiling to make a living for fear of not having enough. Now God can provide. I want you to see this. It says God can provide for his devoted lovers even while they sleep. Now this tells us of the great things that we enjoy any time we come into God's presence. It tells us of the blessings we enjoy any time we are with God. And then we can do this through prayer, through the word of God, and even as we are about listening to this. So I want us to do something. We are going to like this video. So then please hit on the like button if you have not done so. This helps YouTube recommend this video out there to anyone so everyone can have access to it. Also, by doing this, you help in the spread of the gospel and of the good work of this channel. Then, don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section. Hit on that subscribe button if you haven't done so on you and you here and then get on to the notification bell and do us the favor of tapping on it too. You were blessed son. Stay blessed. Every teaching, listen carefully, every truth that you hear being shared here was not emotionally fabricated to keep ministry going. I wish you understand what goes in to bring every word here. I preach an average of two to four messages every week. It is hard work to prepare a message. Very hard work. Are we together? Aside from the prayers, the preparation, the physical constraint, the research, etc. I do these things because there is something God is making us become. Please, I want to encourage everyone. Don't just believe in me and love me and trust me, which I greatly appreciate. But submit yourself to the things you are learning. These keys will make you become something. There is an end. Some of us, by the grace of God, are already tasting of this mold. We are already seeing how much our lives are becoming. Some of us are just catching up. And others have tested of this for a while. But I want to encourage you. Every series, every teaching, just follow them the way they are. Don't try to tamper with any equation you are giving. Be that childlike and watch something happen in your life. Are we together? I think it's quite arrogant for anyone to not have result and criticize anybody who has it. Archbishop Benson Idahosa said, um, you only have a right to criticize a person when you can do twice what he has done once. Our society is full of people who believe they know what they are doing. And you see, the trouble about this pride is that the nonsense will not show now. After years of wasting your time, you will find out that the Bible calls it shadow boxing. But the apostle said, we have not taught you cunningly device fables. The things you are learning here are not my ideas. They are older than me. The truths that come here represent the wisdom of God. You hear me sing that song? Though we are few, we're surrounded by many who have crossed that river. There are people who have crossed this river. We are not trying to invent something new. There's nothing about the anointing that is new. There's nothing about generational impact that is new. So I want to encourage us, pay attention to these things. Don't get so familiar and then don't listen. No. Open up your heart. Don't just write. Don't just say amen. Don't just fall down. Don't just roll. Believe it. Receive it in your heart and be diligent. Be diligent to apply it. Listen, I give you one guarantee. Let me tell you this. And I've been saying this for many years. You will never, never fail if you listen to what I'm telling you. Believe me. 
there are people who will think these things are just jargons and then after many years the danger is they will now have children and families yet they don't have an idea of the systems of God and they will frustrate a whole generation as a result of their ignorance please I'd like you to lift your voice in one minute and Do not take your word lightly. It is capable of changing my life. It is capable of bringing the anointing into my life. Your spirit opens to me the treasures of your word and I will forever see It's your spirit that opens to me the treasures of your word. And I will forever sing your name. I will sing. I will sing of the wonders of your word. I will sing out for joy. of your word and I will forever sing your face and we will forever sing last week we began a series that is aimed at giving us spiritual intelligence please listen it is dangerous to live in ignorance as to the systems of the spirit you hear me repeat some of these things again and again your victory and my victory in this life is not only dependent on what Christ has done but dependent on our comprehending the same and applying the principles that will make it happen in our lives the disaster that occur in several lives regardless of what Christ has done is proof that the work of Christ by itself will not bring you results are we together there must be an understanding and we must know how to engage the word and um, there are a number of concepts that we discussed we took one last week which was the spirituality of life that was the first intelligence that the lord began to walk in our minds and we investigated this very thoroughly life is spiritual how many of you were blessed last week yeah it is important for us to understand the spirituality of life life is not scientific life is not intellectual life is not emotional life is spiritual are we together and the earlier we understood spiritual things and how to navigate the part of life the earlier we came to this understanding the better the swifter our progress would manifest there are so many people who trivialize the spirituality of life and um, it is to their detriment everything about your life to this moment is spiritual so we'll continue we'll take on one just four concepts in this series that i believe that the lord wants to burn in our heart number two god is almighty write it down and then listen to me number one life is spiritual that's the first intelligence you need to have if you want to reign second god is almighty Deuteronomy chapter 10 verse 17 media let's work together Deuteronomy 10 17 you will never be able to obey God listen carefully you will never be able to do the giant 
things that the Lord desires from you fulfill purpose an assignment if you do not have a revelation of the might of God you can have a revelation of his love you can have a revelation of his goodness but if you want to command victory in your life you need to know that God is not mighty he is all mighty Deuteronomy chapter 10 okay verse 17 let me just read it from here if you have it let's read it together if you don't i'll just read alone one to read for the lord your god is god of gods a mighty and an awesome god who regarded not persons nor take it reward some version says nor take it bribe it says for the lord your god is what god of i've taught you what this means that every time one thing is compared against another is trying to show the all surpassing excellency so he says this lord your god that you serve he's not just one of the gods he's not just one of the lords please listen this god that we serve is not just the best option of the many he is the only option available there are so many people who cannot obey god today there are so many people who cannot believe god so many pastors businessmen family people are unable to receive the instructions of god are unable to take steps of faith not because they cannot read their bibles they do not know how mighty and how great god is one of the things that you must burn in your spirit as you begin your journey to greatness is to know that god is mighty mighty savior he can move the mountains listen to this song my god is mighty to save he is mighty to save forever he's the author of salvation he rose and conquered the grave jesus conquered there is nothing the lord will ask me to do that i will be afraid of no i have caught a revelation of how mighty he is the reason why many people cannot obey God is not because they are disobedient. They do not know that he is mighty. Listen, look at this. Come, Sam. If, if I tell Sam, I will buy you a car tomorrow, he will not just laugh. The first thing Sam will do is to look at me and evaluate me, my capacity financially, based on whatever information he has at his disposal. Is that true? So Sam will look at me. If Sam does not know me, he will go and ask someone who knows me. Is this guy wealthy enough to be able to buy you a car at will? If he receives a testimony of my ability, Sam will now stand and say, I can believe you. Is that true? If I, if I say right now, everyone in Koinonia, just be listening to me, welfare department, go and buy minerals, just pass it around. You will never look and say apostle don't deceive us how much is minerals are we together so it's easy to believe me because subconsciously you have an understanding that i am able now if i say everybody just sit down we're going to pass car keys around you will say amen but what you mean is the prophecy for car keys because you look around and imagine so when god says i will bless you your understanding of him will judge what he has said and you say lord I trust you but it's well I, you have a track record of fooling men God is almighty so God can speak to you and say son do this do that let me tell you something God never gives you instructions based on your ability he speaks to you as though he's talking to himself so don't be surprised to hear how how challenging his instructions will come when God speaks to you he speaks to himself so he's not going to degrade his standards just because your mind is trying to comprehend him are we together it's up to you 
by the ministry of the word and the spirit to rise in understanding and get to a point where you will count him faithful that was the testimony of abraham the bible says abraham although he was an hundred years he counted god faithful and so he wavered not at his faith through unbelief one day god will stand up and say son it's time to build a big cathedral son it's time to do this i would be stupid to stand and say god don't don't disappoint me no no i have made promises to people as a man and i've seen how they just rejoiced oh i will give you 10 naira i will help you to pay your school fees and they jump i've not given them any money didn't give them any check they just started jumping around what if i change my mind you don't think i will so you are happy our unbelief is proof we do not know god is almighty so when he told you you will marry you are still asking him question lord can't you just give me date and let two of us rest <laughs> I will bless you and you will prosper. Oh God, when? When? Do you know? Do you know worry is a sign of lack of faith? Worry, believe me when I tell you this, it's an uncomfortable truth. Worry is a sign of lack of faith. No. When he's in charge, when you are in charge with him, there is no reason, no reason, no reason. This is the revelation that is responsible for confidence. When you see people move around, it's not as if there is a charm in their pocket. But I know whom I have believed and I am persuaded that he is able. Looking at the great things that God has done today, here now is not six years it's just koinonia that is six years the meeting here but even at this it is still a humbling experience watching the things that god has done by his grace seeing the many things seeing his word come to pass do you believe him do you truly believe god don't tell me you believe god until you know that he is mighty not just that he's mighty he's willing to hold your hands when a man is willing to help you and you know that person has capacity to help you you trust him the word trust is from the word bata is best described pastor alpha's son is not even considering whether his father's hand is tired he's sitting happily and playing while the father takes responsibility for bringing the child here it's called trust the child has had a track record in his little life that my father loves me but my father is also strong strong enough and so he can afford to move around not minding whether the father is uncomfortable or not did God ever tell you he's tired of holding you did God ever tell you he he needed assistance his hand was paining him God is not Moses the keeper of Israel the Bible says he neither sleeps what kind of a being is that you don't sleep nor slumber the Bible says there is no searching of his understanding there's too much unbelief there are very few people that believe God you see it in their lives although they claim they trust him but the, 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 the way we act shows we don't trust him I believe him that's the song he's able he's able he's able to bless you he's able to keep you he's able to bring his word to pass in your life God is almighty he's not going to borrow power from someone else and return it no he didn't store the power somewhere else he's not signing like a check like you go to the bank and plead with them to do a transfer no he is almighty no man voted him into power listen he doesn't store his anointing somewhere and he's insecure if they will take it the bible says once have i spoken twice have you heard uh-huh help me that all all 
all he never said he's the only one who can use it but he said it belongs to him alone which is can use it by certain manipulations of the laws of the spirit but hear me brothers and sisters all power the power to make wealth kabaratoshia the power for favor the power for increase the power for breakthrough the power for children the power that swallows up challenges that power belongs to God know this listen let me tell you ask anyone who knows me I thank God I've taught you about the gift of men I've taught you about the ministry of men but God cursed be I the day I will leave God to put my eye in a mortal man believing that he's the one who will help me look in my little life i have seen the inconsistencies of men it is foolish for me to sit down and tie my destiny to the word of a man no sir no sir no sir i judge him faithful i can tell you i want to help you and get angry tomorrow and say pastor alpha you offended me i will punish you i won't help you again that's a man for you i can say i want to help you but me too i was expecting help from some, from somebody how powerless that can be you are standing in the middle of help to help but there's no helper of god he checked around and nobody was greater than him so he swore by his name that by these two immutable things it is impossible listen i'm speaking to someone here you better believe god and say lord if you spoke to me about your my destiny let's go i believe i like joshua and caleb he said let us go up at once look at david who is this uncircumcised philistine the, 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 this all this fear about our lives fear about the future fear about ministry will i be rich will i marry will i have children how many will my pregnancy stay will i die will a plane crash will they can't jam me all those things are results hear me will crowds come for my meeting what if they get angry one day and don't like me again those thoughts are a product of a lack of knowledge about how mighty god is i sing that song again savior he can move the mountains my god is mighty to save he is mighty to save forever author of salvation he rose and conquered the grave jesus conquered the grave savior talk like this I, I know what some of you are thinking when you hear people talk like this you just say they are lucky I mean you have food to eat you have this thing they kept in front as though we were born like that <laughs> let me tell you something very few people in this life even historically were ever born with any privilege it takes an understanding I remember clearly when the Lord would speak to me in the secret no results no results but i believed him i remember when he told me he would anoint me and he would do great things i remember when he began to give the blueprint of e and i the blueprint of i remember those little instructions he gave on our way to crusade grounds hoping the world will work let me tell you something hey, Jimmy, come come let me tease this guy small i love him he's my friend you see when we started out let me tell you something that time it wasn't like a crowd like this there were few people now I remember clearly I told them that when we went to the crusade ground we we're going to meet all kinds of people blind sick and all of that and I think he thought we we're joking and 
we had already planned that that time everybody was a minister it wasn't like you're in welfare you don't mm -mm. so when it was time to pray you would just choose at random you didn't have the privilege to know what was wrong until you stood in front of the person are we together now and i remember very clearly ejimi then and jakes when i started saying all those things ejimi got troubled one time and he said come on let's let's really find out are we going to how you know trying to find out i hope this anointing works i hope those devils are going to be cast out i remember i, I hope you can remember i remember one of the, the first day of the crusade two of our ladies they now went to meet a woman you remember the story they went to meet a woman who was deaf and dumb you know they came with all the zeal had received impartation we had fasted our lives i mean we're looking like skeletons and then the ladies now laid hands you know oh god you spoke to joshua selman and i'm telling you that woman was just looking like this no miracle no healing it was so embarrassing the ladies tried how many of you know that when you try you go around and go around nothing happens i remember one person a jimmy i think it was a jimmy that wanted to minister to a young boy and the boy looked at him and said can you see that tree sir he said we have tied people on it he said he can go and call what did he say he wants to go to the market and call the other people that tied some. yes <laughs> a very small child i remember the shock on a jimmy's face listen we didn't look like much then but we believed him the third day of the crusade the deaf and dumb woman spoke her ears open remember the first day nothing happened it was so embarrassing so embarrassing for the ladies they came and met me i said don't worry try it do it again your faith and then on the third day, I just got angry. I said, okay, you people have tried. Look, this moment, let's deal with this thing before these villagers kill us here. See, you know why I'm telling you this and why I called him? It was faith. I remember while we were preparing for the crusade, he took his computer, his personal computer. He was the only one who had a computer then, not a laptop, a big screen computer. He took everything and put it on sale to carry all the money and supply for the crusade these are hidden stories that you may never never know never knew. i dedicated my scholarship 100 percent 100 percent 100 percent for the crusade sacrifices why because we knew god was mighty at a point we didn't have the money to pay where we lodged people as at that morning we were in trouble so we went to greet the king when we went to greet the king we exchanged pleasantries greeted him in the palace and then prayed for him we had a session with the pastors a pastor's conference it was a wonderful time people sowed some seeds plus the seed the king sent that was how we gathered the money listen there was no assurance no uncle no auntie no partner but god Everybody shout, but God. Thank you, Jimmy. I love you. God bless you. But God, when you bring God into the equation, the calculation changes. You have to know that. I had fainted, the Bible says, but God. But God. The psalmist said, if the Lord had not been our help, now may Israel say, if the Lord had not been our help. Listen every other thing should happen to you but god i'm prophesying to somebody the shame should come but god the interceptor every other thing should come but god the trouble should come but god when you add god to the equation the calculation changes god is not a man that he should lie nor the son of man that you should repent one of the mysteries that are responsible for fearsome results responsible for the strange breakthrough in the lives of men is absolute trust in god based on an understanding of who he is he says be strong in the lord and in the power of his might the revelation that he is mighty be strong let your stability be upon that i know i do not have the rent but god is faithful 
I don't know how it will happen. But one thing I know is this God will help me. He said, I will lift up my eyes onto the hills. From whence cometh my help? He says, my help cometh from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Apostle, my father is dead, I understand, but God is still alive. Apostle, my mother is dead. My sisters have found that because I became a Christian, no sponsor. Apostle, there is, there is no helper. No, there is a helper. He's the one who can help men. Look, when God decides to come into your life and help you, you will be scared at the result. There is something called the help of men. We are products. Ebenezer, thus far, has the Lord helped. He says Uzziah prospered because he was marvelously helped of the Lord. There are many people who remove God out of the equation of their lives. So they look at you and say, but I'm more intelligent than you. Why is your life making progress? Because I, I kept, I didn't add God. I put him in front of me. There are many arrogant people believing they, they do every calculation by themselves. Then they say, God, where are you? Just come and join the queue. Some of us have learned. We put God in front and we foolishly follow. Foolishly follow. If he moves this way, wherever we are, we turn back and say, God, let's keep going. He guides me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. He said, yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, what will happen? I shall fear no evil. Why? Not because I'm masculine. For thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Then he says, thou preparest a table for me. In the presence of my enemies, you anoint my head with oil and my cup runs over. Do you trust God? Do you believe God? It's a little teaching, but let me tell you something. Your life will be challenged by circumstances that will require your faith in God. No matter how hardworking you are, a day will come the only person you can cry to. I want you to glue this understanding hold his hands and never let him go you're all I want you're everything Lord. you're all I have ever needed you're all Wait. Give me you. I hold on to Lord, give me you. Lord, give me you. Lord, give me you. Lord, give me you. Hallelujah. The only guarantee to your journey of life. Is his presence and his word his presence and his word men will fail you not may fail will fail prepare for it the best and the most reliable of all of us will still fail brothers and sisters please listen to me so that you stop yourself from receiving heart shattering heartbreak I don't trust men no I don't I receive of their ministry but only as accredited by God. I have pledged my life that anything God cannot give me, let no man claim he can give me. No, sir. No, sir. If God cannot lift this ministry, I will be a liar together with any other person who joins me to believe. No. He said, which of you by worrying can add one cubit? One cubit. One strand of hair. Is God blessing us? Everybody say, God is almighty. God is almighty. In, my life. in my life. Say it again. God is almighty, God is almighty. In, my life. in my life. Lift your voice in one minute and say, Lord, I permit you to show your might. 
I'm tired of doubting you. I'm restraining your hand. I'm restraining your hand. Shata sota bakariaga. Ah, there is more that you can do. There is more. There is more that you can do. I have restrained your hand through my unbelief. They limited God by saying, Can God, can God, can God bless me in Zaria? Can He bless me in Zaria? Where are the helpers? No. The God I serve is dependable. Dependable, dependable. Hey, dependable God. sit down but in one minute I want you to look at the mountain that has threatened God in your life and I want you to prophesy say my God can handle you lift your voice and pray say it my God can handle you I may not have what it takes but my God can handle you no my God can handle you pray my God can handle you the shame and reproach. I may not be able to do anything about it, but my God can handle you. The stagnation and delay, the lack of results and lack of progress. My God can handle you. I do not fear. My God can handle you. You know that song, Sam? In, in this place. place. Sing that song for us. Let your power flow. In this place. I pray for signs and wonder. In this place. Let your healing flow.
Psalms 147 verse 5 quickly I'm shaking unbelief in your life shaking unbelief in your life God is a mighty God he's the almighty not an almighty the almighty no options no one above him no one above him thank you Sam he says great is our Lord and of great what power then he says his understanding this is the mystery behind his power his understanding is infinite now when you meet such a man never leave him his understanding is infinite great is our Lord and of great power he says his understanding his comprehension is infinite I trust him I believe him you know we when Ogun we came in um, left this morning and um, while I just passed the whole Lagos about an expressway down I kept seeing different camps prayer camps belonging to different ministries and I thought for a while one day all of them were in their rooms and God came to them and said I will make you great do you believe me and they were stupid enough to say yes some could not speak English but they said yes mm. had no connection some no education but they said yes it is when the results happen people start admiring you no the mission is follow me if you can have that rugged faith to follow him you will return with a testimony please I want you to bond this every time challenges overwhelm you every time you come to a point where you don't know what to do meditate on the might the might of God I like angel Michael when they started fighting with Lucifer over the body of Moses this is what he said he said I will not bring any railing accusation against you but this is my verdict the Lord I invoke a power greater than me the Lord rebuke you you've been trying to fight many battles on your own it will soon kill you there are some battles that will eat you up on your own there are many young men trying to fight the battle of finances by themselves I'm brilliant I'm not daft you will soon die the, the, the reality of the economy will swallow you up you better humble yourself and say Lord lead me I'm not ashamed to declare that I do not know if you don't lead me the Bible says trust in the Lord with all your heart Proverbs chapter 3 from verse 5 6 says and lean not on your own understanding right it says in all your ways verse 6 now acknowledge him and he will make straight your path seven says be not wise in your own eyes he says fear the Lord and turn away depart all this do you know why many people don't trust God this macho man bold face thing that they want to do to life listen it's good to be bold but we make our boast in the Lord when you remove him out of the question you are boasting and you must defend yourself indeed we make our boast all day long the psalmist says your confidence in life is not just because of your intellectual capacity your confidence in life is not just because you think you went to school go and find out how many graduates are moving around as if they are holding a tissue paper your confidence in life is not because you think you can speak english your confidence is not because you think you look good <sighs> there is one mighty strong strong mighty you threaten me he will answer you mm. you will hear my voice in that equation he will echo and when God speaks everything if you speak to me it's only me that will respond to you but when God speaks everything will answer everything please tap into this understanding I'm giving you spiritual intelligence don't ever say they are basic leave God out of your life and watch the way the enemy will eat you leave the understanding of the almightiness of God and show me how you will ever build a house show me how you will ever build a ministry show me how you will ever build a business it will it will so shock you take God away that is a a, a mountain that cannot be surmounted but bring him into the equation 
and he will cause it to tremble before you now the thing is men don't see him they see only you so they think you are the one doing it alone it's up to you to be smart enough to keep his presence by being an usher and pointing men back to him and say look i know you saw only one person walking but we are two and actually i'm only the second of the two not the first there is one in front of me i am a product of his wisdom i am a product of his leadership there is this treasure he says in earthen vessels that the excellency of power might be of god not of the vessel please repent from this unnecessary vain confidence in yourself i will do this i am smart the way i'm anointed is impossible for me to not have an anointed ministry you are joking go and find out how many people see jesus almost every day and don't have up to 10 people in their church it's not because they are going to hell if it does not give you these keys he says a man can receive nothing except it is given if it is not given to you you can't have it it's impossible what an awesome god you are you're an awesome awesome what an awesome God you are. You're an awesome. Number three. Ready? The third key. Man will always have a role to play man will always have a role to play in fulfilling god's word in his life man will always have a role to play i'm giving you spiritual intelligence so you don't waste your time asking why things are not happening man will always have a role to play someone is being delivered already from this statement your role is not taking the place of prophecy but it controls manifestation between thus saith the Lord and it came to pass you have a role Deuteronomy 28 from verse 1 and 2 man will always always the love of God is unconditional but his blessings are conditional the love of God is unconditional but his blessings are conditional Here's what it says and it shall come to pass if thou shalt uh -huh, listen diligently hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe pay attention then number two to do all his commandments which I commanded this day that the Lord thy God will do what set thee on high above all nations of the earth verse 2 and all these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee what's the condition if thou shalt hearken verse 2 just stop there if thou shalt hearken to the voice of the lord thy god he didn't say if god speaks he will set you on top as powerful as his voice is it requires a partnership are we together how many believers sit down there is a very sad statement that is used especially around the north that's to mean it was so prepared by god no i believe in the sovereignty of god there are things that are written there is how god can veto in a man's life but it is not in his character to veto over everything are we together so if i'm poor is the will of god if the ministry refuses to grow is the will of god no 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 the will of god is not hidden he has made known unto us the mystery of his will it's clear 
I know the thoughts that I think towards you, Jeremiah 29, 11. Thoughts of peace and not of evil, not of evil, not of evil, not of evil, to bring you a future and an expected end. That means if my life is not bringing me a future and an expected end, I know that something is wrong. I can't sit down stupidly say, no, this, this has to be God. No, no, no. I know his ways. It's not a mystery. I know there are challenges. I know there is a fullness of affliction. I know there are seasons, but I also know that the times are in the hands of God. He said, until the word of the Lord came to him, the word of the Lord tried him, right? But when that word came, he prevailed over it. In the dealings of God with man, you don't suffer forever. No, sir. Understand the ways of God so that you don't sit down giving God thanks over things you should be rebuking. Hallelujah. If the membership of Koinonia begins to reduce, I won't sit down and say it's the will of God. He's driving wrong people. That's nonsense. We know that there is a spirit destroying men because it is the will of God that all men might be saved. All men. There's no such thing as the crowd does not matter. It does. The ministry of the kingdom is a ministry of multitudes. When you understand your partnership, you will know what is demonic. You will know what is a process. You will know what to give thanks for and what to cast and bind. There are too many believers who just sit down and say whatever will be, will be. Unfortunately, it's what you don't like that will be. Are we together? Everybody hates me. They are not nice to me. Say, well, maybe that's how my life is. It will continue like that. You have not sat down to say, could there be the manifestation of an evil spirit in my life? That is bringing this rain of bad luck. I'm such a nice personality. But why is it that people cannot help me? When you begin to probe. And look at things. Then the Lord will show you. Your own role. And say this is what you have neglected. This do. And you will see the hand of God. Everyone say I have a role. Say it loud. I have a role. To play. In the fulfillment of God's word over my life and destiny say it again I have a role to play in the fulfillment of God's word over my life and destiny say it one last time I always have a role to play in the fulfillment of God's word over my life and destiny Never allow anybody, listen, never allow anybody indoctrinate you into believing you will sit down and cross your leg and things will happen. No, sir. Even science refuses that. Even science refuses that. Nothing moves by itself. Right? Yeah. The first law of mechanics, science people. A body remains in a state of uniform motion or a static state till an external force acts upon it otherwise meaning if I leave this here and there is no force acting it will remain there forever your destiny is like this object it will remain in one place the day God wants to change I know my God he will arise you know your God but you will not arise you provoke his hand to arise for you God will deliver me. You people should just keep watching. No. There is what you must do. Good master, what shall I do to be saved? That's why the man was rich. What shall I do? He knew he had a role to play. Not all God save me. That's what the other guy said on the cross. We are here. It's true. We are thieves. But what did you even say? And Jesus looked at him. The other one said, look, we are sinners. Lord, we take responsibility. Say, you, you will be with me this day. In paradise the other guy still on the cross as a thief and a criminal was not repentant I'm somebody who is obsessed with a sense of responsibility I I detest irresponsibility of any kind especially spiritual irresponsibility if my life will rise is up to God in partnership with my cooperation still on this point I want you to write this down are you getting blessed tonight just listen to what I'm telling you and you'll be surprised to see how your life will change 
write this down still on that point three your part will have to be based on knowledge and understanding your part will have to be based on knowledge and understanding in as much as it is important to take action that action must be based on knowledge and understanding not emotions not suggestions not guessing you see the thing about god is he clarifies what role you have to play moses stretch forth your rod it didn't say moses just do whatever you want to do i'm just there no stretch forth your rod jericho joshua tell the people to go around jericho specific instruction once every one of the six days and on the seventh day they go seven times after that together with the priest they raise a shout specific rule proverbs chapter 4 verse 7 we we'll look at two scriptures so many people are attempting to cooperate with god but they are doing it in ignorance now when you when you walk in ignorance you alienate yourself from the possibilities that are that are contained in god proverbs 4 verse 7 let's look at it proverbs 4 verse 7 let's turn it from here for time's sake proverbs chapter 4 and verse 7 it says wisdom is the principal thing therefore get wisdom then it says and with all thy getting do what get understanding wisdom tells you what to do understanding tells you how to do it wisdom tells you to cook understanding tells you how to combine the ingredients wisdom tells you you have a great destiny understanding tells you the path to take that's why he says thy word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path there are similar roles but they are not the same a light to your path direction a lamp to your feet guidance a light to your path direction listen if you come and you're looking for direction i'll tell you okay go left you're going to see two roads follow the left one turn that's direction but when i tell you let's walk together and we get to a place i say okay move with me that's guidance the word of god both guides and directs thy word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path so god shows you where to go and guides you on how to go there make sure that you understand what to do before you start doing it don't just say wow this tight let okay since prosperity is tied to tithing and all of that let me just tight you may be taking the action but is it based on knowledge and understanding you can frown your face and come and squeeze an envelope and stand as if you are going to stone god with money and drop it in the offering basket as though you are bribing a man and go back and find out that your heaven still remain closed because it is not the substance it is the understanding the insight is what gives life to the action are you seeing that now yeah so you are praying for the sick and you are saying in the name of jesus be healed but you think he's just about speaking so you are saying be healed be healed be healed and the person is not being healed you are still mentioning the name of jesus in the name of jesus be healed be anointed the power of god will touch people right now everybody you ask them to shout everything i receive shout jesus shout fire shout water shout and everybody is just looking at you like a rock i say you are such a bunch of unbelievers here you are you are trying to insult the grace of god on my life then you start making reference to meetings that's what people do when they don't have result is it not you that came in 1991 remember that meeting <laughs> bible says jesus the same yesterday today and forever don't bring jesus of yesterday for us we want to see the jesus of today alive and strong but that's what happens to people let your action be based on knowledge knowledge okay what is the revelation behind tithing why does tithing open the heavens wow tithing is my spiritual circumcision tithing is my proof of obedience 
tithing is not a proof of love giving is a proof of love tithing is a proof of obedience tithing does not mean you love god tithing just means you are obedient because an exact figure was given to you so i begin to study it I see those who gave their tithe and the results that followed and then light breaks out and now I package my tithe with understanding so I come and while I'm singing I'm in the worship team and I'm trusting that every time I lift up my voice people get blessed I know that it's not just a nice voice and beautiful melodies I go and begin to study what is it about music and worship and I begin to find out ah this is how it works now on the strength of that understanding when I lift a song I'm lifting that song from an understanding that understanding will allow a dimension of the grace of God to flow through that song and you find out that people become a reflection of your understanding never do things because people are doing it spend time to seek knowledge and understanding then you take an enlightened step take an enlightened step Everybody is doing business to prosper. You too, you go and do it. No. What is the purpose of it? Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 18. The Bible talks about those who are alienated. Alienated from the life of God through ignorance. Alienated from the life of God through ignorance. Through ignorance. Through ignorance. Are we together? Yeah, there are people who, although they are supposed to be working in certain realities, they exempted themselves through ignorance. Being alienated from the life of God, and the Bible says through ignorance. I am always passionate about a revelation of the areas where I do not know. I'm not too proud to learn. I always want to know what am I doing wrongly what when I find knowledge that is relevant to me I jump at it with all my heart I know you have been taking action but is it based on insight is it based on revelation you saw people anointing themselves you went to go and buy Goya oil and you brought it and all of a sudden you opened a bottle and drank small rub small on your head rub small on your hand went to sleep and his spirit sat on you 10 minutes later and he said my god with this oil yes with the oil you carried your bible and put it under your bed and while you slept you had the worst dream even the day you slept watching a film you had a good dream but now you put your bible because it's not in actions revelation there are too many people who don't pay attention to revelation revelation Ephesians 1 17 Paul speaking says for this cause I Paul bow my knees to the father of our Lord Jesus Christ that he may grant unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him your eyes being enlightened or flooded with light that you may know come into a comprehension come into an understanding of a reality it is important for us to know I like it to say in the name of Jesus Lord take away ignorance from my life say it again take away ignorance you know let me tell you something the little understanding that God has given me about certain kingdom realities the mysteries of the kingdom I watch how people break these laws every day and want to succeed and want to do well I watch pastors break the laws that bring success in ministry I watch business people break the laws that bring success in business. I watch leaders break the laws that bring uncommon results. I watch people who want the anointing break almost every law that brings it. You see, enlightenment is very powerful. Because when you are moving in darkness, you don't even know. And so you keep trying this is not working but I fasted 30 days I thought at the end of 30 days an angel will appear to me and say from this day I give you a mantle receive it you collect it and, and nothing happens and yet you see how effortless certain people move in the grace and the power of God as though God owes them his presence and power you've got to find out 
it's not just in saying the power of God is moving it's not just in saying this and that and that no as I pass Lagos about an expressway today I saw the predictability of the results of the people you know most of those fathers of faith came from the same background the same background the apostolic church Aladura CAC that background regardless of what they have now so certain foundational things were functional regardless of what the ministry is crowds space they caught a revelation of space they don't buy small things they buy kilometers not plots and expand it i've had the privilege to see photos of some of these ministries in some nations that are racist nations yet they gave them land it's a grace now they may not have as much revelation as you do but sadly they have more results which do you prefer the end of everything brothers and sisters is results herein is my father glorified that you bear much fruit not that you learn about plants that you bear much fruit you can learn all you can about plants but if you cannot bear fruit you are not glorifying the father your action must be based on light and that means you must contend for light let me tell you how i study i write out the areas of my life where i have seen some measure of result and i celebrate and thank god then i write out the areas in my life where i'm trusting god for results or greater results and then i begin to study from the word of god and secondly from the life of those who have commendably produce results in that area that's how you get results that's how you get results i'm not going to study somebody who is not working in the anointing if i want to work in the anointing i will love the person i will respect the part the fact that he is part of the body but he has nothing to teach me about the anointing it's not working in his life so I will find somebody who represents the hand of God to the degree to which I desire and humbly study to the degree to which I desire. There may be many of them, but I must find the one that reflects my expectation. Then I study. Follow them, the Bible says, who through faith and patience obtain, not are obtaining. They have obtained the promise. hallelujah run away from ignorance run away from it start acting blindly don't just act emotionally the moment you panic blood of jesus holy ghost fire honestly holy ghost fire hey, these demons you are hearing holy ghost you don't know what the fire of the holy ghost does you don't even know whether it exists you don't even know whether the blood of jesus is there and what it should have so you are just praying holy ghost fire holy ghost fire blood of jesus it will never i, I refuse to believe it then you start crying even you you know you didn't believe what you said because at the end you just start stop praying and say god is this how you leave me may people of confidence arise who know you see when you are walking by light you will not stop regardless of the result because you know the result will show it's like driving right when you are driving somewhere you don't get tired after five minutes and say we've not reached let me park this car you keep moving why because you know you will get there when people start practicing certain things and stop it is because they don't have a revelation that that is the key for every door there is a key you have a bunch of keys in your hands the bible calls them the keys of the kingdom you have to painstakingly find out which one opens which door i can have a bunch of keys in my hands that does not mean the doors will open how many of you have different doors in your homes that have different keys you can see one small and then another one big the keys don't replace themselves you have to know which one there are certain padlocks you open them in a very interesting way there are others you can close your eyes and just chuck it and turn and it opens all in the same house so there are things you can just come and effortlessly solve but there are others you have to look at it with the eyes of the spirit ah this is what i do this is what i do and i get results in the name of jesus christ i pray for you may the days of shadow boxing come to an end in your life efforts 
that are not done out of knowledge efforts that are not done out of out of accuracy you will begin to be circumspect and every action of yours will start producing strange results in the name of Jesus Christ let's take two more and then we'll pray is God speaking to you thank you Jesus number what number four evil still exists write it down evil the reality of darkness the depravity the existence of wickedness the existence of darkness is a revelation that you must comprehend if you want to walk in victory walk in triumph and have spiritual intelligence listen it is not only weakness it is foolishness to ignore the presence of evil evil still exists first john chapter 5 verse 19 let's turn there write it down and turn there. first john 5 19 Jesus thank you can you play the guitar too for me Binga just follow him and play God wants to do something in this place first John 5 19 it says and we know that we are of God and then it says apologies for the projection issues I'll just read from here you listen to me carefully and we know that we are of God then it says and the whole world lieth it didn't say receives visitation the world is lying like you say this pulpit is lying on a, a rug a carpet then it says the whole world lieth where in wickedness listen i want to give you spiritual intelligence the condition to be a victim of any attack from the devil is that you are born not that you do anything wrong or right the moment you find yourself on this side of god's kingdom immediately there is a contention every human being on earth is a potential battle axe satan will not wait till you become one he starts attacking you from birth he knows that everyone born of a woman carries the potential to be used by god are we together yeah apostle what have i done who did i offend have you heard that that culture driven terminology this one that demons are against me nothing works in my life i didn't offend anybody you don't have to there is a story that predates your existence listen to the teaching pulling down strongholds and a number of other teachings warfare series i teach there very extensively on the reality of wickedness many of us trivialize it until it attacks you no the Bible says, Woe to them who are at ease in Zion. Scripture clearly tells us that this world, living is a warfare. Living is a warfare. I think it's Dr. Paul Enche who says that the world is a battlefield, not a playing ground. It's a real battlefield. Just start getting blessed and watch people hate you for doing nothing. You are trying to show you have money. Who did you offend? nobody lie down and sleep and let someone not be able to sleep he wakes up and is angry why are you sleeping this is the world we live in you have a neighbor who looks at you and sees you dancing giving glory to God and he says all these arrogant people I will deal with you that begins attacks in your life please listen to me I'm sharing with, I'm giving you spiritual intelligence I have factored in my life that every day of my life until Jesus comes, somebody somewhere hates me enough to want to see me dead. Somebody somewhere hates me enough to go. 
only God knows how many people are in a herbal shrine now calling my name while I'm sleeping only God knows how many people are saying let him have a plane crash this year let him have a car accident this year so that all the mouth is making about the word of God so that people will be discouraged the problem is never the enemies the problem is you but to ignore their presence is a joke the psalmist listen Judas one who was close to Jesus used a kiss a kiss is supposed to be a good thing a sign of love but to someone it was a sign destroy him brothers and sisters hear me I don't mean to insult your civilization but I'm sorry to inform you that witchcraft is real say it after me witchcraft is in everyone's village here everyone is in the city is in Zaria somebody somewhere is looking for blood and they are hoping that your own will be the one they are finding <laughs> you better grow up fast enough to believe what I'm telling you the whole world lieth in wickedness a man goes out in the morning and returns back with a sack letter that was the happiest day of his life but he returned back ask Job Job was minding his business and consultations were happening in the heavenlies and all of a sudden everything began to fail in his life brothers and sisters I can look at a life and know that this life is under attack I have seen marriages under attack all of a sudden love dries up between the husband and wife for no reason the man is angry with the wife you ask him many times I counsel them I say sir what exactly did your wife do he said apostle I can't tell you this is exactly what she has done but I'm tired of this woman I have to look for another one then you know that hell is breaking loose madam why do you hate this man I'm tired I've not enjoyed my marriage from the day we've been married for 17 years not one day of joy madam you didn't laugh on your wedding day not one day of joy not one day of joy <laughs> yet you see videos of happy moments when they dance together not one day of joy and she's planning to leave that guy by Jesus for sure a man prays for the arrival of a child and have you seen people who look at their children and regret that they were married not because the child did anything from the day this child came our finance doesn't stay again what sort of a child is this I don't need a word of knowledge to know that your life is under attack all I need to know is did you say yes to the Lord Jesus Christ do you mean business about your destiny then your life is a project for darkness how can we make the word of God fail in Pastor Alpha's life? How can we make promise not become that thing? How can we frustrate the purposes of God upon Benga's life? That's the devil for you. Let me tell you something with Satan. He's a patient fellow. Don't take his patience as foolishness. He can be patient and wait for 20 years until the ministry expands enough for you to not pray again. Then he comes just like he said he would. And destroy your life are we together there are many of us right now I know your life is under attack by your prayer life I see it you don't need a word of knowledge I know your life is under attack by the bitterness things you never would conceive before are now at work in you I see the anger and the resentment you hate everybody for no cause it's not you Peter, Peter, Satan desired to sift you like wheat, but I have prayed for you that your faith fail not. And when thou art converted, strengthen thy brethren. I look at a man and know his life is under attack. All doors of finance is closed. Then four children become sick in one day. He's coming. The thief cometh not but to steal. You always see his signature. When he comes, he leaves the traces a family that were once happy all of a sudden from nowhere you will see the lady will just come 
with one kind of trouble somewhere the guy will come with one kind of trouble somewhere the guy will start smoking he will come and speak to his father and say from today i'm a man you talk to me i slap you just when he's doing that they sack him from work just when he's doing that something happens his car packs out brothers and sisters it is not a test it is oppression hallelujah all of a sudden mysteriously people start dying within a region have you seen that happen just like in three weeks or one month men fathers of people just go away mothers of people just go away brothers and sisters just go away just like that five people lose their jobs within two weeks in your house don't tell me it's not an attack someone promises you i will give you a job even says complete everything you travel around the last stage someone just wants to sign and say what did you say your name is again femi me i said i will help you call this person for me did i say this guy was part of them you say sir we even drank minerals that day say look i can't remember drinking any minerals leave this place i have seen witchcraft life in the lives of people i have seen families under attack no one rises you rise beyond certain limits the devil will not stop you but one day something happens and it crashes you there are ministries within certain regions that don't reach three years zaria is one of those places the lifespan of any ministerial impact in this city is three years after three years a scandal must arise or something must arise and destroy you if you survive three years you are truly anointed you see it happen a musician comes into the city they are inviting him to every church they exhaust your grace in two months and dump you they are looking for the next person there is such evil like that there are men of god like that there are seasons where they are relevant for one year two years they are the talk of the town almost every church invites them after that you see them walk upon the street there are names in this nation and around the world i cannot even begin to mention people who were inspirations when you mention them they represented certain dimensions now they are as silent as a dead body wickedness is real evil is real one of us here showed me the picture of his father i think it was last week and i saw the man's legs like half of the leg you could see the bones sorry for painting a graphic picture no flesh it had eaten what happened to the man he was sleeping no went to bed at night and all of a sudden someone fired an arrow to the leg he saw it and woke up just a slight pain a slight pain started eating up when i saw the picture it was irritating i said this is your father's leg just imagine dividing my leg by half imagine the toes knees you are seeing the bones that's somebody's leg alive today hiv people who receive their hiv not by a bad living but from dreams are you aware do you know when the enemy rises against you do you have the discernment to know or you just sit down and say we are all like that it's just nigeria you know i've shared with you a, a story I'll, I'll, I'll share it here one time i was praying i think i was in a fast and then i was praying and I, i've shared it here a number of times my the, the ceiling just disappeared like disappeared like that and all of a sudden i saw a big creature big like as tall as this from here up the eyes alone were like the head like my head imagine two of my head that's the eyes and then the tail was like a snake imagine another animal joined to another animal the tail had life of itself it could detach and live its life independently you know how you cut a worm and then the parts are, are, are acting that's how it was and then he looked at me with fierce anger and this is what he told me he said so you think you can bring the people of god into abundance that was a conversation red fiery eyes 
and after that the vision disappeared you think the devil is happy every time you are being transported you think the devil is happy every time you are being delivered you think the devil is happy every time you are being saved being healed you think the devil is happy with this information you are receiving that your life is being changed you think the devil is happy that now you have been taught not to cry at challenges in times of famine you should dance and rejoice you think satan is happy with that mystery so imagine how much he would try to come against me let's do something to this man imagine how he would try to come against koinonia let's do something against koinonia who is like him the lion and the lamb seated on the throne mountains bow down every ocean roar to the lord of lords who is like Listen, when you find out that there is a pattern of pain and tragedy, I want you to know that hell is about to break its bank over you. And that is the time to arise. Before the throne, there is the cross. And you must know how to fight your way to victory. This is where spiritual laziness has cheated many of us. This is where the ministry of prayer has been absent in our lives the ministry of engaging the world for victory too much carelessness and people never rise they die at the cross there they die in the grave and there is no resurrection for them hallelujah when everything in your life goes haywire please hear me i understand that here and there one aspect of your life you may be trusting god but when every area of your life is zero if you have been finding out whether it's the devil, I answer your prayer now. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. I know his signature. Everything cannot go wrong at once. Something is wrong somewhere. And so it is important you acknowledge it. And then you lock your door and find out what is the mystery of deliverance. Not what is the mystery of prosperity. What, why am I not getting a job? No job. No money no favor no open doors no anointing no breakthrough no helpers you are under attack don't wait until it kills you you finish treating yourself now two weeks later it comes back i guarantee you you are under attack the moment stomach pain is getting healed your eye starts as you are taking the last drug for eye your ear starts all of a sudden you hit your leg you're on your way going to your room that little hit you for two weeks there is no bomb that cures it that was not a stone that was more than a stone i remember one day i was praying and i was praying for someone a particular person in this ministry and then when i was praying the lord led me to pray for that person and immediately i was praying you know how you blow somebody on your back physically like i stand behind you and blow that was what i felt physically when i started praying for the person do you know sincerely speaking i had to kneel down and lay my hands the pain was too much and i knew that person's life was under attack ah i said my god you have to arise and help this one i laid hands there no praise and worship let me tell you this there are prayers that prevail there are different kinds of tongues there are tongues for warfare it's not the tongues for just edifying your spirit man you do you know it will change believe me it's because you don't pray that's why you will never get there just speak anything and even you you know it didn't rise shalakata the day you lock your door i'm telling you this i'm telling you this you lock your door and say i'm not going out until there is a change 
and blast in tongues the spirit of god you will feel your tongues changing you will know this is warfare prayer you may not know what you are saying your mind is not fruitful but at the point your spirit the anger of your situation is added to your prayer you are not laughing praying nonsense you are thinking of who is calling no you are praying because you know that you are breaking through and at a point joy mm -hmm, one of the signs of the manifestation of the kingdom joy comes to you and for reasons you cannot explain you know that victory has been wrought peace comes to you he gives you a sign i tell you when you get that sign start dancing no power hear me this is how i live my life when i pray listen let me teach you something hold on please when i pray i don't stop until that joy comes i don't do all this i'm praying for 30 minutes one hour if it is in five minutes the joy comes that's when i stop pray you hold the universe you hold every one of us listen there are people here the moment a man appears in your life those spirits arise the lifespan of that relationship it will not pass two months no matter how vicious you are you thought it was just because you were bad no the best people in your family have gone through the same thing please listen to what i'm telling you i'm giving you keys that will give you victory evil is real hear me if you see crowds like this gathered inside and outside by the grace of God, brothers and sisters, victory was commanded in the realm of the spirit. It didn't just happen. You sit down there and allow Satan to keep blackmailing what you represent. Every time you want to bless people, people say, don't trust Benga. I'm still suspecting him. Don't you know there are spirits that plant deception? you blast them out in prayer someone wants to marry you all of a sudden a stranger arises she does not know she's under the influence of a demon this lady did a and b and c last year no sir the moment he wants to bless you he wants to do business with you and a night before signing the contract what million somebody calls him and say who did i hear you are doing business with be careful you see that let me tell you there are spirits i told you life is spiritual you keep watching things happen in your life you will never rise beyond some levels there are some of you the moment you hold money finances everything will go haywire till it finishes when it finishes everything dies by itself it's an attack it's an attack There are times some of you have received calls from me even in the night you were sleeping and you just had me call you and i say where are you what are you doing oh apostle i'm in this and that and that all right let's pray some of you have, have received calls i just call you I, sometimes i don't even know you you don't ask how i got your phone number i just call you and i say let's pray in the name of jesus a and b i see the numbers in dreams and the lord says call this person there is an attack over their family I just call you and off the phone you don't even know what happened some of you when the devil is about to buffet you the lord uses my face in your dreams here he comes shows up i tell you if you see me in your dreams start dancing i'm not a herbalist believe me it's a mystery god used the voice of eli to speak to samuel God uses a grace you honor that represents a ranking that can solve your problem. So when he shows up, he shows up with his covenant of possibilities. It's not Joshua Selman. It's the lamb, the lamb himself using the face of his servant. Listen, don't mind people who preach nonsense around. Say men of God use charm and have a to my Do it if it's easy to, to make charm. There are men of God I have prayed to command certain miracles in this ministry. And while I went to sleep, certain faces that I respect with respect to the dimension of the desire. Here they come, they walk up. Just like I come to you too. They come and sometimes they just speak a word. Sometimes they lay hands. When you get up, don't just laugh. 
you get up and receive it this is where you miss it you just get up and say i saw apostle and you are smiling you miss your miracle that's the time to dance shada katai is done is over is done is over is done is over listen before this ministry entered a supernatural dimension of prosperity i remember i was sitting i've been praying and practicing this principle but i knew that it is like there was a resistance a resistance and that night i prayed my heart out as i was sleeping all of a sudden i was preaching somewhere in canaan land and bishop oerico was sitting down david Piome was sitting down close to him two men i respect their voice when it comes to the aspect of kingdom wealth territorial wealth and they were watching me just like supervising a student on project i was standing on the stage i could not stand very well it was shaking and afterwards i came and oerico asked me to empty everything in my pocket on his feet when i dropped it he said no there's still some more i put my hand i dropped everything and he laid hands on me somebody took me to a room i opened the room and i saw dollars i saw pounds i saw naira that was the beginning when that happened koinonia exploded like a charm there are mysteries you don't have spiritual intelligence you will never rise never rise some of you were this close to your breakthrough but you did not know what you saw you thought you had a dream only if you dance for 10 minutes that would have been the end of that problem but you did not know help those under the anointing you will the universe you will everyone on January this year I was praying and all of a sudden I was caught up in a vision and then when I was caught up in a vision the second time I would see Papa Adeboe in an encounter not a dream not lying down to dream the first one it was a pastor's conference and then they were serving food in a tray and I was sitting and he pointed me he said come and then I came, I saw pastors looking at me with anger and envy. And he said, sit down here, let's eat. I said, I can never do this. I've been trained to respect. He said, I said, sit down and let's eat. Two of us sat on the ground and we were eating. When I got up then January, this one happened like 10 years ago. January this year, when God declared that it's a year of triumph, I had that encounter again. He finished doing something and then I came to him. And I can't remember what happened. And then he, I, I, have, I have it written down. And he looked at me and said, okay, I'm going to pray for you. And he started praying and he was laying hands and he was singing a song in Yoruba. Quietly, just laid hands on me and he was singing a song. And then when he finished singing, he says, now I open up the gates. You know how he's just talking. I open up the gates of influence to you walk in it and he told me bye-bye like you tell somebody in Yoruba go you can go I've opened the road brothers and sisters this is how this is what we call encounters you don't know it how many encounters have you had and you missed it because if it is not perfected in the realm of the spirit the same way you call somebody and shoot an arrow in the spirit and leave him quietly then in the physical Two weeks, he's still moving alive, but he's dead. He doesn't even know he's dead. You see him and greet him. How are you? He said, in two weeks, it's my birthday. And you laugh at him. You killed him two weeks ago. Yet he's still walking. And one day, he, anything can kill him because he's already dead. Anything. That's the same way when you are blessed in the spirit. Anything can prosper you. It's not about what you do. It's about something that has entered you already. You own the universe. You own shed it in a no 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 no
there are only three ways witchcraft operates i will be teaching you next week and then i will teach you the last point on how to command victory but someone has learned something tonight you have been wasting breakthroughs you finish koinonia and sleep you finish your prayer and sleep and things happen in the realm of the spirit you get up and you don't permit them to happen in this realm don't you know a man must speak for things to manifest you saw your marriage but you got up and you were shy you were embarrassed and you just laughed and said ah don't mock me i'm not talking of all these demonic things where you are moving around no listen it's not every encounter in the spirit that is demonic some things god is telling you the season has come especially when it's it is emphasized two is the number of emphasis three is a shorty is a witness that god has decreed that it should happen but it never happens never happens because there is no spiritual intelligence i don't waste opportunities in my life the greatest of my battles are fought in the realm of the spirit the realm of the spirit the realm of the spirit that's what happens you've not commanded victory in the realm of the spirit you are pasting posters everywhere come for my meeting you are just wasting your money for nothing believe me the victory miracle service is always finished before friday koinonia is always finished before friday you don't come and finish koinonia here it's risky risky you don't come for miracle service and stand on stage and say it's time to be healed foolishness that's not it doesn't happen that way from the foundations of the earth the lamb was slain then it was possible for him to be slain physically if he were not slain in the realm of the spirit he couldn't be, be, be saved physically it always happens first in the realm of the spirit we are going to pray we are going to pray i i feel i feel i feel the air of some warfare prayers we, we, i i just sense in my spirit that we need to pray some warfare prayers listen in the next five minutes i know our time is up but in the next five minutes i release my faith with you and i want us to pray we are going to force doors to open you are not praying to edify your spirit no every pending breakthrough it has been declared it's my season of trial i have seen it in dreams the lord has confirmed it i should be blessed i'm not asking i know it it is a season Pray, pray, Koinonia. It's the season of encounter with the anointing. I cannot remain at this level of grace. There is a dimension. I have seen it. He gave me a witness. He gave me a witness. It's my season of breakthrough. It will not happen like before. Now I have intelligence. I will not waste the dreams. I will not waste the visions. I now understand. I now discern. Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the beaters crown. You are the crown.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen. We are praying. There are miracles. There are miracles that should have happened. Stop asking whether it's the will of God. You are going to pray and say, Lord, I allow them to manifest. I partner with you now. I've seen it in my dreams. I saw it in the visions of God. Lift your voice and pray. Come on. Pray. The visions of wealth. I have seen it. The visions of victory. I call you for The visions of victory. and we're done. The Bible says withhold not good from thy brother when it is within thy power to do it. Say not to him come today, come tomorrow. God has it now. Did you hear what I said? Now. I want you to lift your voice and say now break through. Now break through. Now break through. Not next week. No. Not next miracle service. Now favor. Now favor. Now now anointed, now anointed, now grace. It's not a negotiation. You have declared it's my year of trial. I stop bad news. Lift your voice and stop it. Lift your voice and stop it. Tired of bad news. Tired of disappointment. I stop it. I stop it. Have respect, oh God, to the covenant. I stop bad news.
is a word for someone never let anything to chance if anything will happen you will make it happen hallelujah lift your hands I want to pray for you If you have never believed a prophetic word for any year, believe it now. Believe it now. Thanks be to God who causes us always, always to triumph. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. Every vision you have seen that represents what God wants to happen in your life now, and was hijacked by any power in the name of Jesus Christ the son of the living God I command the expectation of God for you as revealed to you I command it to manifest now I command it to manifest now I command it to manifest now. Hear me. Any human agent that partnered with darkness to hijack any aspect of your destiny, let the fire of vengeance. You see, we've been praying vengeance here in the last two weeks. Just follow what God is doing. I command it that has stolen anything from your life, from your family brought you disaster may the God of vengeance arise in judgment this night may the God of vengeance arise in judgment this night whoever will not let you go must go for you whoever will not let your destiny go must go for you I release vengeance the fire of vengeance the fire of vengeance the fire of vengeance the fire of vengeance I decree and declare every power that close your means of breakthrough in the name of Jesus I declare tonight let there be a warfare in the heavenlies we deploy angels we deploy angels the angels of God we declare are they not ministering spirits sent to minister to the heirs of salvation angels we release you war a good warfare release destinies release lives release favor release breakthrough in the name of Jesus Hallelujah. I decree and declare whoever is behind God's schedule for him, God planned that by now 
there are some realms of anointing you should have entered some realms of breakthrough anyone behind schedule here i want to push you by prophecy so take a time. pay attention there is a grace for speed i decree it in the name of jesus upon everyone here behind schedule in the name of jesus i command you catch up now catch up now financially catch up now spiritually catch up now anyone called barry anyone the devil has vowed that will not marry anyone the devil has vowed to always have disappointments i prophesy again catch up now catch up now listen i don't know the chains that held your legs but in the name of jesus by the fire that elijah commanded from heaven i decree and declare may those chains break now For you this night as you sleep may my god show you a sign god is a god of signs god is a god of signs my god show your people signs signs of their victory signs of their breakthrough this is how to receive your portion anything less than this you are playing games this is how you receive what belongs to you the devil will not give it willingly no whoever is yet to have at least one solid testimony from january 2017 in spite of the fact that god has declared you clap for others Hold on, I'm not just saying maybe a casual, there is no one here who has not seen the faithfulness of God. But I'm saying there is nothing striking. You cannot honestly say from January 1 till today, 10th of March, nothing constructive has happened in your life in the name of Jesus, except I be not sent of God. In the name of Jesus, according to the election of God's mercy and grace, I prophesy to you, in seven days from today, in the name of the Lord God who called me, I command breakthrough, 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 return with testimonies, strange breakthrough. Help that lady. Strange breakthroughs. The doors must open. Hear me. Tomorrow, Koinonia will be six by his grace. We are not doing anything online. Leave all those things. Listen. But I want to place a prophecy over tomorrow. Listen. Every time people celebrate birthdays, they reenact what brought the birthday. Correct? If a king is celebrating birthday, he releases prisoners to prove he's a king. I want to place a prophetic word. Malatos Skadabaria. I'm not speaking to you by faith. I'm speaking to you by a covenant. By a covenant. I'm not asking you whether you believe me or not. I'm just asking you to listen to me. The Lord that appeared to me the one who revealed to me that I saw a generation crying I saw men languishing the one who gave me his presence as a gift and brought the angel of his presence to walk with me I invoke the covenant of my altar that post cutter breast cutter I invoke the covenant of my altar oh God arise answer by the covenant I have with you tomorrow 11th March shake the nation change your people in the name of Jesus I place my covenant with God upon your life let there be strange 
results tomorrow. Strange results tomorrow. Strange results tomorrow. Strange results tomorrow. All over, hear me. All those connected to this grace, all those connected to this ministry, following online and prophesying from 12 midnight tonight until 12 midnight tomorrow, I declare it a day of strange miracles, strange encounters, strange miracles, strange restoration, strange impartation. I declare an unusual release of angels over Zaria. I command it from 12 midnight today. I speak as an apostle of the Lord Jesus Christ. 12 midnight this night. I command unusual angelic activities confirming the mandate, confirming the mantle. Listen. Listen. This is what I want you to do for me. Please listen. This is what I want you to do for me. From 12 midnight tonight, any time until 12 midnight tomorrow, I want you to pray. Take advantage of this unusual open heavens. I want you to ask whatever it is when you go back. Any long standing case, I want you, this is not by faith. Remember, this is a covenant. It is not, I'm not just saying you are trying. I'm not asking you whether you believe or not. Just do what I'm asking you to do. Use these 24 hours and watch something happen to your life that would never have happened. I declare it as the word of the Lord. I place the word of the Lord upon this prophecy. It must happen. To him who sits on the throne and unto the Lamb. To him who sits on the throne and unto the Lamb. To him who sits on the throne and unto the Lamb. Listen, no sickness survives tomorrow in anyone's body you have never seen me hospitalized you have never seen three put on my hands you have never seen me fail to come for koinonia because i was down i declare no sickness dwells in anyone's body tomorrow hear me whoever will continue to hold your destiny and will not let you go. There is just about two hours. I declare, if they enter tomorrow, holding your destiny, I stand and I command the earth to take their body. I say this in the name of Jesus. Anyone who will not let you go, I say it again. If they cross 12 midnight, this night, I command the earth to take their bodies. Lord, I had a young man testify that you gave him properties. I had a young lady, born, had never smelled. She was not in a miracle service, just listening to a message. And all of a sudden, the healing power of God touches that lady and that's it. Lord, I'm tired of this lump. Lord, I'm tired of this medical report. I'm tired of watching my mother cry, my father cry. I'm tired of my ministry not growing. I'm tired of staying at a particular level in the anointing.
Lord, I've heard testimonies of favor. I have an idea of what happens when a man is carrying favor. But Lord, I don't see it yet in my life. I'm here tonight for this one reason. Lord, even after the deliverance series, I've been seeing certain things happen in my life and my family that pre-informs me that I will still need a second touch. A second touch over my family. Atabalakatoselia my loved ones are not born again lord i can't watch them go to hell like this don't be tired of praying Please cry from the depth of your heart. Lord, I'm not going back with this disease. I'm not going back with this medical report. No way. No way. No way. I insist. I'm not going back barren. Tired of miscarriages. the universe what can't you do what can't you do Jesus you're the name above every other name what can't you change what can't you change Jesus one more time creator Creator of the universe, what can't you do? What can't you do, Jesus? I want you to see the Lord lifting your burden. You're the name above every other name. What can't you change? What can't you change, Jesus? You are able, great and mighty God. You are able, Jesus. You are able, great and mighty God. You are able. I will continue to read it for you Isaiah chapter 61 please give it to us the messianic prophecy Jesus's own manifesto he's saying this is what I came to do Isaiah 61 it says the Spirit of the Lord we are reading from verse 1 to 4 is upon me because the Lord hath anointed me to preach good tidings to the meek he had sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives. Start looking for your own as I'm reading. And the opening of the prison to them that are bound. Verse 2. To proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God to comfort all those that mourn. 3. To appoint unto them that mourn in Zion to give them beautiful ashes the oil of joy for mourning the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness that they might be called the oaks of righteousness the planting of the Lord that he might be glorified for and they shall build the old wastes they shall raise up the former desolations they shall repair waste cities he says 
the desolations of many generations i like you to pray whatever needs to be fixed in your life and family insist that tonight is the night when it will happen overflow one pray overflow two overflow three by the roadside those following from around the world open up your heart and pray from the depth of your heart Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord just showed me something like a train. You know, a speed train, not like we have it now. Just like a train, just pass like this. And I believe in my spirit that that is a typology of a grace for speed. Listen. Listen. We are going to pray now and like i always say you'll find out when i pray you're going to see people running around in and out please just guide them and bring them out ushers whether you are an usher or not the ushers can only do so much i want to pray once i pray that prayer listen please i don't want you to get listen please hold on i don't want it, the idea is not about people falling down carrying them please let your spirit be open be open for when your word will come. Be open for when God will visit and locate you. That, that's, that's what you're here for. So I want to pray that prayer now. Jesus. I'm seeing a lot of those people at Overflow 1. A lot of the people who will be affected by this prayer. I know overflow one, the overflow outside. You see, let me tell you this. When a man, listen, when a man does not have speed in his life, you don't have the entire lifetime to do all that you should do. It, it takes more than just power, right? Please help those in overflow one, my God. I'm seeing very strange angelic activities happening already at overflow one outside. Now, listen when there is no speed in your life listen imagine that i have to walk from here to maybe the roadside and i'm tiptoeing on one leg am i moving yes sir but when will you arrive there the pressure that you will mount on this leg it will affect you to a point that you may not even stand it and so god when he wanted elijah to move because he had already been delayed the Bible says the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah. He was empowered of the spirit and he ran. I, I, I'm, I'm saying this before I pray so that you don't just think it's about anointing and people running around. No. When that grace comes upon you, what God is saying is I'm ready to shift you. That within a short time, you will see a lot happen in your life. In three days, the work of redemption was done three days this powerful redemption did not happen in 12 years it happened in three days by the end of three days jesus had ascended poured his blood returned back he was ready it was now to launch the church big things don't have to take plenty time when the hand of god comes upon you you will see that a defining moment in your life can happen so fast are you ready now lift your hands i want to pray i will do the praying thank you jesus 
the lord is asking me to shout jesus not you now i'm the one shouting jesus i'm going to shout it and at the third time i tell you it's going to be an avalanche of the power of god let me have those people out lord you are bringing speed to your people and i know that there are angels all around it's time to change people's levels and even as you have instructed me oh god as i declare that name that is above every other name i pray that anyone under the sound of my voice who has been crippled in one position that in the name of the god of heaven an anointing will shift that person into his destiny jesus that's number one mm. jesus that's number two get ready now jesus let that anointing right now i shift man speed speed to your life oh god let every delay be broken now i command the spirit of delay be broken speed i shift you by the power of the holy ghost help that woman please help that mama there please help them whether you are an usher or not speed speed in the name of jesus i command everything that has refused to move in your life i move it by the power of the holy ghost i'm still praying i'm still praying the holy ghost is moving you except this prayer is not for you there is an anointing that must shift you must shift you by the power of the holy ghost lord shift them to their destinies please you will need to help the ushers whether you are an usher or not just just help them there's only so much we can do there's no power that keeps you down this is miracle service lift your hands please i'm praying for some of you now it's the same prayer but it's no longer just for you you may not be experiencing it but your family needs speed the anointing now is moving from individuals to families lord where are the families that need the shift of the holy ghost i decree and declare right now i speak by this apostolic and prophetic grace families be shifted now speed 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 Speed, Papa Rakoto Shegeta, Ebrekete I decree it, I declare it. I decree it and I declare it. Shapa Katoka Tabala Katosh. No more delay. I stretch my hands I'm seeing an angel of the Lord just on this road I stretch my hands right now I move people God is moving people here I decree it I declare I decree I declare I decree I declare by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus it must work for you I shift you no more delay in your life this lady wearing hijab right now the lord is shifting you that lady in the name of jesus i stretch my hands let the anointing of the spirit take away delay from your life right now in the name of jesus now all those in front i'm praying any chain that has tied anyone's leg or any family at the count of three i speak into the realm of the spirit 
those chains go now one two three go 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 i lose those families now i command chains be broken now let the families be set free in the name of jesus young lady lift your hands you you put in your hand on your yes i'm seeing an angel pouring oil on you and the lord is saying that he's shifting things i'm seeing like a chain on your head being broken now i stretch my hands right now in the name of jesus let that chain be broken let that chain i command that devil i'm seeing a snake in the spirit let her go now in the name of jesus hallelujah be sensitive i want to pray a very serious prayer now he said behold i give you authority over snakes and scorpions if you don't like the prayer and pray no problem but i want to pray a dangerous prayer i'm seeing snakes this is what i'm seeing over families now let me tell you this reptilian objects is a representation of the spirit of sorcery in the name that is above all names i declare every spirit that has caged any family here I decree and I declare right now by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus and at the count of three everyone shout Jesus as you shout Jesus I see fire everywhere inside and outside there is massive deliverance about to happen I command every devil and every activity of sorcery to leave now one two three in the name of jesus i crush satan i crush his works inside outside i command every power every force go now go now hallelujah please be sensitive just give me the volume i'm seeing fire by my left and right just bring out all the people that fall under the anointing now as i'm walking here in the name of jesus i command that devil you must go now you must go now you must go now i declare it by the anointing of the holy ghost as soon as i come close to you that fire and there is an anointing you can't stand it it's impossible as soon as i come close to you as soon as I come close to you, that fire, there is a judgment. Let them go now. I'm coming this way. Right now, in the name of Jesus, the power of God is coming this area, this direction. Let them go now. Release them. I come by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Let them go now. Let them go now. Release them. I'm seeing someone here tied around the stomach. Release them now. Let them go. In the name of Jesus, let them go now. By the power of the Holy Ghost. I stretch my hands here. Right now. The fire of God is setting people free now. Lose them, lose them, lose them, lose them, lose them, lose them now, lose them, lose them in the name of Jesus, lose them now. Those outside, lift your hands. God is about to set you free. Please, I like you to pray. Everyone pray. Enough is enough tonight. Everyone pray everyone pray now listen overflow one listen to me listen you don't have to touch me please you don't have to touch me 
but in the name of Jesus hear me the Lord brought me out here because the time has come for something to leave someone as soon as I pass here I don't have to come close to you you are going to feel fire all all over that fire that will be the end of it you must testify right now I stretch my hands right right now it's over over now Shakos Katarika, a ghetto Santa Ricata, a preketo Seketa, a Katose Kriaka, Manta Prekotos. Let them go, let them go, let them go, let them go, let them go now. The spirit of sorcery, I curse it now. The spirit of witchcraft, I curse it now. Please help your neighbors so they don't enjoy themselves. Go, go, be free. I command that power by fire by fire by fire it leaves you now those of you here i want you to lift your hands overflow two overflow two lift your hands let me go to the front there enough is enough as i pass this place listen i want you to be very sensitive there is a strong anointing tonight overflow two please help your neighbors i'm only going to pass here right there as soon as i come close to you except god is not god if there is any force holding you holding your life and your ministry it must go right now right now in jesus name be free be free now be free now be free now i command those devils go 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 let them go 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 now, release them, release them, release them. Every covenant, release them. I break that power now, 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 now. Be broken. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Now, listen, I didn't know we have an extra overflow here. I want to pray for those by the side here. As I stretch my hands to you, please don't waste your time. I'm seeing fire already. Here, in the name of Jesus, at the count of three, those of you by the roadside, one, two, let them go by the power of the Holy Ghost. I release you, please help them so they don't injure themselves. I declare, I decree, and I declare, you are free. Praise the Lord. Overflow 3, your life is about to change. Listen. Listen. Honestly, there is, there is an anger in my spirit. Because as I entered, I'm just seeing chains everywhere. Right now, in the name of Jesus, at the count of three, bring all of them out. From the front to the back. Right now, at the count of three, overflow 3, all of you shout Jesus. One, two, three. Every power, bring them out. Every yoke, every force, every operation of darkness, bring them out. I'm seeing chains on people's feet. Chains, chains, chains be broken now. Be broken now, be broken now, be broken now, be broken now. Change, be broken now. Hallelujah. Bring them out. Overflow three, lift your hands and see praying. Listen. I'm seeing, I'm seeing patterns. Something that is not just happening to you alone. Happening to your father, your mother. As soon as I pray now, I'm seeing fire all over this place. Anyone under that case, you must be free now. At the count of three, anyone holding any pattern, any generational thing, in the name that is above all names, at the count of three, one, two, three. Shout Jesus, 
Bring them out. That devil must let you go today. My God, look at what God is doing in Overflow 3. Shaprakato shekete skaba embrekato koto shabaria. Look at what God is doing in this place. Embrekete kete keto shabarukatos. Hallelujah. Listen to me. The Lord is showing me. I'm coming back, but I don't know why God is 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 on the case of Overflow Three. The Lord is showing me some of you. I'm seeing you are climbing a ladder, but that ladder breaks down and brings you down. You see things as if it's supposed to happen, but a force draws you back. The moment someone wants to lift you, you will have a dream in the night. And in that in that dream, someone will come to sleep with you, or something will happen. Right now, at the count of three, shout Jesus. I command those devils. One, two, three. Let them go now. Let them go now. Total emancipation. Hallelujah. Jakakos kaparusi kata hasana katushia. Embrekata katos kata brekatish. Now, now, all those who are under the anointing here outside, I pass a decree that every power that has held you i speak as one send at the count of three let them go one two three go 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 let them go lose your hold over their lives let them go now let them go now let them go now hallelujah i'm inside this place now and I'm standing in the spirit. I've not started impartation yet. But the Lord is showing me the number 12. And the Lord is saying there are 12 people here. There is a strong call upon your life. There is a mighty anointing. Lord, where are they? Shagatos kapakarikata. Drink of that wine. Mantekatos ketekekata. Shabrakata. A ministry of signs and wonders. Ministry of signs and wonders. A ministry of signs and wonders. A ministry of signs and wonders. Signs and wonders. Signs and wonders. I'm still praying. The anointing of the Spirit is still locating men. I don't know why God is talking about ministry. The call. Don't run away from the call. Don't run from the call. A ministry of signs and wonders. The Lord is telling someone, you are the liberator of your family. A ministry of signs. Signs, 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 signs. There are ladies here entering that ministry of signs and wonders. Signs and wonders. Hallelujah main auditorium lift your hands I'm seeing I'm seeing a distribution of the healing anointing going on in the main auditorium and I stretch my hands from here it doesn't matter what overflow you just be sensitive to what God is doing main auditorium I'm seeing eight people eight people in the main auditorium at the count of three right now in the name of Jesus fire will come upon your hands i'm prophesying to the main auditorium but everybody can receive i decree and declare that healing anointing one two three let that anointing come now let it come now fresh fire hallelujah listen listen I'm seeing oh my god the Lord is opening my eyes here I'm 
I'm seeing someone. Don't don't be ashamed and don't be embarrassed. Your father, I don't know if I'm seeing something like a priest. This is someone that worships something like an idol. It's in your house. I'm not saying you're a bad person, please. I'm not saying you're a bad person. You grew up seeing this happen. That they worship those idols. That gentleman is here in overflow three. Oh, 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 yeah. Please, who is that person? Come. I want to break that thing now from your life. Please, quickly. Please make sure you hear what I say before you come. Just let, make way for them. Mm. The power of witchcraft. Young man, you're going to be a mighty man of God. I don't know you. Lift your hands. An anointing is coming upon you now. Huh? It will shift you to a realm of signs and wonders. Or let that anointing come upon him right now in the name of jesus christ hold my hands my dear the power of idols in the name of jesus i break that force now i break that force now i break that force now testimony of breakthrough for you and for your family in the name of jesus in the name of jesus in the name of jesus hallelujah i'm praying listen i stretch my hands towards you and i speak i don't know what it is that you have been involved in but in jesus name i'm stretching my hands why am i seeing fire leaving my hands who is it looking for in the name of jesus christ I command everything that is not of God be broken now. The blood be broken now. By the blood be broken now. By the blood be broken now. By the blood be broken now. Hallelujah. Just two more things I'll do here. Whether I'm in this overflow or not, I just stood here to show you that it makes no difference. I know the larger congregation is here. Lift your hands, all of you, if you can. Just lift it as high to the heavens. Now, I'm seeing, you don't have to come out, but I'm seeing keys in the spirit. Listen, this is access to a new dimension. And I'm seeing the number 44. Just lift your hands. You don't need to say anything. Father, I stand as one sent. Those keys are locating families and locating people. It may be a key that explains why things have not been working. Lord, from the front to the back, like a mighty wind, whoever must receive that key, receive it now. Receive it now. Receive it now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. let her go now out out now now this lady wearing a red hair tie in the name of jesus i'm seeing a grace that is coming let that anointing come upon you in the name of jesus christ let that anointing come upon you hallelujah overflow three i'm seen by the spirit the lord is opening my eyes and i'm seeing the names of members of your family like written already written already i'm going to pray listen except god has not sent me as i'm praying some of you instantly the power of god will come upon you and god is going to open your eyes you are going to see victory and deliverance 
in fact i see a family where three of your siblings they've married none of them has a child none of them at all has a child they've done everything to do but there's no child but i stand in the name of the lord father where are those families right now like a mighty wind like a mighty wind oh god let it end right now let there be an opening let there be an opening let there be an opening in the name that is above all names let there be an opening young lady come call that lady for me call this gentleman too this man yes bring him in the name of jesus you need to be delivered i command the spirit that torments you to go now by the power of the holy ghost i release you my dear hold my hands to you i'm seeing that your life is about to change two weeks from now it will surprise you what the lord is going to do in your life i decree and i declare it over your life i stand by the anointing and i pray for you father according to your word within two weeks turn this lady's life around supernaturally in the name of jesus emeka who is emeka emeka i'm hearing a name emeka overflow three here i'm just talking to overflow three people emeka emeka please quickly please quickly don't waste that time where is that gentleman what's your name i want to pray what do you do i'm going to pray for you you are not from this place you came for nyc i want to pray lift your hands because i'm seeing look at me the lord is giving you the grace for wealth huh I want you to believe it but every prosperity that does not have an assignment to end up destroying the people you love Jesus with all your heart I want to pray for you it will surprise you the way God will begin to turn things around in your life father change this gentleman's story in the name of Jesus forever overflow three I'm still praying the spirit of prophecy is coming on nine people i will count four at the fourth count one two three where are they oh god four nine people nine people the spirit of prophecy the spirit of prophecy all of you open your mouth and begin to pray everything you desire overflow three open your mouth and decree open your mouth and decree i'm seeing an anointing around here who is that person i stretch my hands i'm seeing chains breaking just within this region as i'm standing here father let the chains be broken now the anointing of the spirit find that person let the chains be broken right now right now right now right now right now right now be broken now Hallelujah. please everyone pray everyone pray everyone pray everyone pray hold on there's someone here the lord is saying i'm rolling away your shame i'm seeing light as i was just passing i just saw light two people let the anointing find those people now two people right now i decree overflow two right now in jesus name in jesus name in jesus name i decree and declare by the anointing of the holy ghost shame reproach let it go now shame reproach let it go now shame reproach help them let it go now in the name of jesus christ who is gabriel 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 i'm hearing a name who is gabriel is there someone like that you are wearing a maroon you are wearing like maroon kaftan gabriel maroon kaftan is there someone like that what's your name do i know you lift your hands my brother god is about to change your life god is about to turn your life around um, where are you coming from? 
I want to pray for you. You love Jesus. What is? Is it Boleku or Aleku? What is that? Huh? Huh? Where are you from? Benway State. You are from Benway State. This is what has tied down your life and your family. I want to pray for you. I'm not a herbalist, eh? Father, in the name of Jesus, let this gentleman be free right now. I command that devil to leave you now. Just keep him there. In the name of Jesus. These two people, this gentleman, you, yes, and the lady by you, come quickly. Please. Blow, blow, blow like a mighty wind. Spirit of victory. What did you do, my friend? You're a student. You love Jesus. I want to pray for you. Huh? Yes, Are you together? Yes, sir. Because I saw light on you. Husband and wife? Yes, please. Well, I'm not going to discuss your issue now, but two of you need deliverance. Eh? You love Jesus, but you need serious deliverance based on what I'm seeing now. Huh? You are not husband and wife yet, but I'm seeing a lot of stories. Father, in the name of Jesus, look at me. You're going to be very wealthy, but the first thing you need to edit are your friends. Huh? Hear what I'm telling you. Huh? My, uh, my sister, you know what I'm saying, right? Huh? So your friends. Huh? Confirm, sir. Listen to me. You are not truly born again if your friends don't change. Hear it from me. All this born again that is one leg and you have all kinds of friends. If, if I am a drunkard and you are not a drunkard but we are staying together, I'm close to a drunkard. That means I can be implicated by everything a drunkard can be implicated by. Is that true? So my friend, you love God, eh? but you see, um, look at what I'm doing. One leg in, one leg out huh don't be embarrassed when i make the altar call you need to run and come quickly jesus is not just some religious thing that you just run to just for no 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 no. Let, let's take god serious and take him look what i see my friend i see god turning your life in a way that will surprise you but friends and this is not just a message to this gentleman alone it's a message to many of us because the demons that destroy our lives work by bringing wrong friends they make you compromise your values it's not your fault but when they come they are vocal about what they believe and because you do not have a community of like-minded believers but let me tell you the truth it matters who you listen to if the devil positions a wrong person to counsel you and they give you a counsel of a hit or fail God may be calling you to a great ministry, but you will hear a counsel that would destroy God's purpose over your life. I pray for everyone here that in the name of Jesus, if you are under the yoke of wrong friends, I stand and I speak right now. May the Lord set you free this night. In the name of Jesus Christ. My dear, there is favor on your life, but it's not speaking at all. Hmm? You are a nice lady come i'm looking at you i'm seeing a young lady but i'm seeing the face of you and another old woman flashing me and going back see wickedness is real oh let me tell you my brothers and my sisters wickedness is real huh this is a young beautiful lady you see her standing but you now look at it do you know let me explain something whatever overflow just listen i want to explain something you see this is the mistake that we men of God make sometimes. I can look at a beautiful lady like this now and see the face of an old woman. And if my word base is not sound and balanced, I will, I will interpret the vision I've seen verbatim and now call her a witch. You see the mistake we make? That we call people and then assuming now they are married, I will now advise him and say, Mr. Man, you married a witch. Oh. You, do you know what it means to be a witch? So God is, you see that God is, is balancing a lot of things in our lives. Let's be careful. Because sometimes we may see a vision. I already know what is happening. It is true that the lady needs help. But it doesn't mean, imagine that I look at this lady now and say, my dear, you're a witch. No, this is a lovely, she has a beautiful heart. I already see by the spirit. Very beautiful heart. But it, beauty and a good heart does not take away oppression. 
it takes the power of God. How terrible art thou in your ways? Through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves. So many of you are here, you find out, for instance, the moment you enter a relationship, come for instance, assuming I enter a relationship with this lady and you find out that there may be something wrong in her life and it starts affecting me. Have you seen that happen? I'm doing well in business, but just because I married this lady, I start going down. And now you meet a man of God and if, the man, if you're in ministry here, please be careful. You have to trust God for grace to be balanced. Are we together? I can now look at this lady and say, Ah, your wife is the reason behind your failure. Um, what I'm trying to say is that, Oh, there might be a spirit connected to her that is affecting me and the works of my hands. But it doesn't mean she's bad. A good man of God will bring about that separation. And then through the transforming power of the word, now help this couple to stand and become the best of couple because a body without a spirit is dead so it's not about condemning and destroying the body are you getting it now so my dear let me tell you you're a wonderful lady huh we're going to deal with this nonsense now this whatever it is that the devil is bringing, because this thing is affecting your life you don't know why good things don't come to you you're a very nice lady hold my hands father hold it with both of your hands i decree and declare ah. i'm seeing fire leaving my hands in the name of jesus i command this devil i'm seeing through the face of this old woman be gone now my dear i set you free and i open the door of favor for you right now please everybody lift your hands i'm seeing i've not seen this in a long time I'm seeing the map of Nigeria and I'm seeing an anointing going to Benway State. Benway State, now. Benway State. You are from Benway State. You see that that power will touch you, even if you don't know what state you are from. Benway State. Lord, where is In the name of Jesus, the power of God is bringing deliverance. Benway State. In the name that is above all names. In the name that is above all names. In the name of Jesus, Madam, I'm going to pray for you. Two things. I'm seeing that the devil wants to put stroke, complete stroke. The devil wants to paralyze you from head to toe. But we're going to destroy that now. In the name of Jesus, hold my hands. I decree and declare, be free now by the power of the Holy Spirit. Madam, I don't know you, but ah, you please come. Hi. This is your first time coming? I need to pray for you. What do you do, ma? You are jobless, ma. Huh? I'm looking at you and I'm seeing in the realm of the spirit, two of your hands are tied. There is nothing you do that works and prospers. It's not normal. You are a very good woman. Please don't be embarrassed. I hope I'm not embarrassing you. I want to pray for you. I give you three weeks, 21 days, ma. Your life will turn around in a way that will surprise you i lay my hands right now and i declare i'm seeing chains leaving you i command those chains to go father turn her life around in the name of jesus in the name of jesus please open your mouth and begin to pray hold on hold my hands in the name of jesus christ i open that closed door now i open that closed door now by the power of the holy ghost Please open your mouth and begin to pray. Everyone, open your mouth and pray. The Lord is asking me to stand here. Just here. Just to stand here. Because the Lord is bringing breakthrough. Here and here. Here and here. Right now. Here and here. I command right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. Every planting that is not of God. I uproot it now. I uproot it now. I uproot it now. Lift your voice and begin to pray, please. Lift your voice and begin to pray. In the name of Jesus, lift your voice and begin to pray. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I know our time is gone. We are going to be very fast. Sir, you're welcome, sir. Can I pray for you, sir? Why are they here? Priest, 
You, sir. You are a priest. I'm, I'm, I serve, my father served and died. And died. Sorry, where are you from, sir? I'm from Mallory. Sir, I want to pray for you. The Bible says, even the lawful captives, even the lawful captives. My brothers and my sisters, you will be surprised to see what happens in your life after this miracle service. This, this woman, come. Madam, you, yes, come. Please, quickly, come. We're out of time. Say in Jesus' name. Say it in Jesus' name. My life is about to change. Say it again. Say in Jesus' name. Reproach is leaving me now. In the name of Jesus, let it go forever. In Jesus' name. Sir, I hold your hands and in the name of Jesus, every ordinance that is not of God, help him. I command that it is broken right now. You are an elderly man, but I use you as a point of contact. We break every ordinance of darkness. This, this lady too priest you your dad your father is a priest currently oh where Oshun state don't be embarrassed eh? you are here because jesus wants to help you lord jesus it is not your will that any man perish but that everyone comes to the knowledge of the truth i deliver this lady right now everything they have given you to drink and eat I stand by the rod of a higher priesthood and I set you free now. Be gone. Now. Out. Let it leave her. I'm seeing that the father has given her so many things in her life. But in the name of Jesus. Kai, Jesus' power is really superpower. Really superpower. That in one moment, something that has been done in a lifetime can leave. Out. Now. Everything that is not of God. Our father is a priest or not her uncle direct father imagine how many times she has been involved in all of these things but in jesus name you are set free this this man too why is he here look at my eyes just look at my eyes you are receiving the healing anointing now huh? in the name of jesus christ Lord, grant him access to the healing anointing, your healing power. Now, oh dear, our time is gone. This is, sometimes I honestly wish that this is, because there are so many things I see, but we have to work with time. This lady, you, come. Hurry up now, please, come. Uh, we're out of time. Wonderful lady, look at me. You are a savior to your family. You hear what I said? You are a savior. You may look small, but you are a savior to your family. The only thing is that you need to continually be serious with God. Your heart with him. Your heart with him. Hold my hands. Father, in the name of Jesus, I take away distraction from her life. Right now, by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, I take away distraction. I take away distraction. Okay? We have, we've not even prayed for the sick girl. My dear, come. This lady waving your hands. Come quickly. Your life is about to change. Come. Where are you coming from? You are coming from Abuja. Yes, I'm here with my husband. Husband, yeah. where are you, sir? Let's clap for the husband. <laughs> Two of you came from Abuja. Last time. You came with? For SOM. Came. I can't remember. You came with your... Oh, your son was a graduate of SOM. No. We came with him. Oh, okay. So I'm a graduate. I want to pray. What do you do, sir? Um, I'm a minister of God. But at the same time, I do business. But it's sir, working. I want to pray for you. Eh? Things are not working. You need the anointing. You are a sincere man. My dear, the prophetic grace is coming on you as I'm speaking now. In the name that is above all names, I stretch my hands. That anointing you will start having dreams receive that grace two of you need empowerment ministry ministry without genuine empowerment will make it look as if you are wasting your time are you a man of god stand up stand up take that anointing now in the name of jesus you step into a new dimension 
I take away shame and reproach from your life and ministry. From today, you step into a realm of signs, wonders, miracles. In the name of Jesus. Can I pray for you, sir? Look at me. Hold my hands. Hold my hands. Just hold it with both of your hands. In the name of Jesus, I transfer grace, signs and wonders, strange testimonies, your business between now and 30th of November, sir, your finances will change you and your wife in ways that will surprise you. You will come back and testify in the name of Jesus Christ. This man waving your hands, come together with that woman by your side. Who is she? Come, please, two of you, quickly. Let's appreciate them as they come. Oh, oh, oh. you sir i want to pray for you ah. madam i'm looking at you you're a nice woman but i'm seeing you carrying a load huh i'm seeing you like this and i'm seeing a load on your head and if i don't pray for you this load is going to destroy you i want to pray for you where are you coming from sir? are you new here by elsa by elsa hmm. all the way i think we should appreciate them <laughs> what do you do sir I'm a pastor. You're a pastor. You're in ministry, both of you? Evangelist. My ministry is separate. Your ministry is separate, evangelist. but both of you came from yes, Bielsa. You're an evangelist. Yes. You pastor a church? Yes. How long has it been? Okay, I was uh, about four years now in Bielsa. But you were somewhere? Yes, I was in Abuja. You were in Abuja? Yes. And then you left Abuja and went to Bielsa. Do you know what happened? Is it your church now? You're serving someone else's church. Okay, I want to pray for you. Because what I see God do through your life, I'm seeing God giving you two things. The grace for leadership, number one. Number two, the grace for finances. These two graces, God is giving it to you. I don't know you, sir. I'm seeing you for the first time. Ma, you're an evangelist. I'm going to pray for you. What do you do? You hold crusades and all of that? No, I, I usually have meetings every month and then I speak on radio. I have a live radio. I do my evangelical on radio. And then oh, you TV. do a live radio? Yes, live radio talk show. Three things. One, barrenness. Two, poverty. Three, witchcraft. You are carrying the grace to smash nonsense out of these three things as you are going back. Don't forget. Huh? The same grace on you, I'm seeing it come on this lady, this one, this one, this lady I'm talking to. I want to pray for you. Sir, this thing is an election of grace. You see, I'm, I'm also a spectator, the same way you are watching. Me too, I'm watching. With wonder and shock, the way this thing works. That God can just change a man's life overnight overnight evangelist my hold my hands father this is a dear woman of god all the way from bielsa i stand by the anointing of the holy spirit and i declare fresh anointing fresh dimensions in the spirit and i pray madam the lord is asking me to pray for your finances seriously for your finances and then the lord is saying i should tell you to pray for faithful workers I'm seeing you do a program for women when you go back. This thing I'm seeing is going to be a powerful program. There is a program in Abuja that looks like what you would do. It's called When Women Pray. I'm seeing that same kind of grace on you. That you are going back to Bielsa and God is giving you uncommon grace for women. In the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare you carry that grace right now, madam. My God will honor you. Ah! In the name of Jesus, supernatural grace. Drink of that wine, sir. I'll pray for you. The grace for leadership, the grace for finance. But I'm, ah, it's not only pastoring I'm seeing you do. What else do you do? I manufacture paint. 
you manufacture paint that's right sir what am i seeing this is somebody it's, it's not directly the government but this is somebody that is connected to the government the lord is going to connect him to you it's, it has something to do with supplies that thing will make you millions overnight in a way that it will surprise you please write it you will see it happen father in the name of jesus i pray for this man of god i stretch my hands drink of that wine that anointing drink of that wine you will never be the same i stretch my hands i take away every limitation from your life and i decree and i declare your life turns around from today in the name of jesus give jesus praise goodness 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 can we still pray for the sick we can't close this without praying for the sick In the name of Jesus be healed from it now I command that devil that virus go now in the name of Jesus you go and write your test bring back your results go listen I, can we you see how sometimes this thing we are really constrained that's why we do our best the healing anointing is already flowing God wants to heal maybe i'll just pray i'll just pray for the sick from here we'll do it that way right but make no mistakes just that you that you are not coming out doesn't mean i want to pray for you now we'll take a few testimonies now in the last three or four months i have seen i don't know why this happens but i have seen a dimension of the healing power of god very creative miracles so i want to pray you are trusting god for a miracle lay your hand right now on your body quickly i want to pray for you now please believe god for a miracle now this is what will happen overflow one two three the roadside and then those following us online our time is gone but as soon as I pray for you now, I pray for you, the power of God is going to come upon you. I'm going to ask you to check yourself. Praise the Lord. We may not take all the testimonies, but since we have chosen this method now, as soon as I pray, I ask you to check yourself. You will be surprised what has happened to you. And whether you are in overflow one, two, or three, I'm going to ask you to run very quickly. You're going to come right here. Pastor Jimmy will be here with Pastor Alpha. They will just check you and we'll take one or two of the testimonies and i'll just confirm that um how many of you brought your prayer request let me see did you bring your prayer request okay ushers this is what you, i want you to do pr department help them protocol please help them while i'm praying for the sick i think we can do it too your prayer request please make sure that your prayer request or that of your loved ones get to the ushers just lift it the ushers have a system of collecting it you don't have to be rowdy those outside you can pass it to the last person in the aisle if you will not bring any confusion you can have that very quickly please lay your hands now i want to pray jesus A lady in overflow one is going to shout a loud shout for everybody to hear as soon as that shout happens i'll begin to pray for the sick very loud shout from overflow one a strong anointing is coming on that person the moment that happens that's the shout there now i'm ready to pray for the sick in the name please agree with me everyone in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare right now those under the anointing you don't have to bring them out I'm, I'm praying now every spirit of infirmity please make sure you are hearing me overflow one two three every spirit of infirmity right now by the power of the Holy Ghost I curse you now I curse you now say amen 
I curse you now in the name of Jesus. I command every spirit behind every infirmity over anyone's life. Be healed now in Jesus' name. Be healed, my God. The power of God is touching people already. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Overflow one, two, three by the roadside. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Now I command every blood condition. Be healed from it now in Jesus' name. Peptic ulcer. The Lord is healing ulcer right now. Be healed in the name of Jesus Christ. Be healed in the name of Jesus Christ. Lumps. All kinds of lumps. Multiple lumps. I command those devilish lumps to live now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing a number of people having um, hepatitis. The Lord is healing hepatitis right now. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Eye conditions. In the name of Jesus. You're going to feel fire just come to your eyes. Be healed right now in the name of Jesus. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Every pain that has to do with the bones. I decree and declare. Let the power of God touch you right now. There's someone you have severe pain around your back. Just right here. Your lumbar vertebra. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. Be healed right now in Jesus' name. Be healed in Jesus' name. There's someone you don't hear well with your, this is left, left ear. And then sometimes you just hear like a sharp, you know how bees are. That sound. The power of God is touching you right now. In the name of Jesus. Every kind of fibroid, every kind of growth in your stomach, in the name of Jesus, be healed from it now. Be healed from it now. Be healed from it now. Now, whether I mention your case or not, whatever is wrong with you, I stretch my hands and I declare, be healed in the name of Jesus. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Some of you, when you fell under the anointing, long before I started praying for the sick, you got up and found out that you have been healed. Now, overflow one, if they are coming here for the healing, please just clear the way for them. Overflow one, overflow two, overflow three, and the roadside. I'll give you a minute. Those online, if you are healed, you can, you know, just, just send it as an inbox on our Facebook page or you can find a way to post it. I want you to check yourself now within a minute or two. The moment you find out that the power of God has touched you, make your way. Some of you, you get up under the anointing, you find out that the pain, there's a lady who has a severe case of bleeding. Go and check yourself. The bleeding is gone. Gone completely. And I'm seeing someone heaviness around the chest. It's just lifted. Gone like that. Please check yourself very quickly and come. We may not take all the testimonies, but at least let's take a few. While we are doing that, let me have all the prayer requests very quickly. God bless you. Check yourself quickly. Koinonia, are you celebrating Jesus? The Lord is touching people. Show them where to come. Look at, look at God touching people already. Please make your way. Make your way. The power of God has touched you. Those outside, overflow one, overflow two. Clear the way for them. Just come. You can stand on the queue there. And let's have one or two testimonies. God bless you. Koinonia, are you celebrating miracles here? Yeah. Make your way. Be bold. Don't be ashamed. Make your way as soon as the power of God has touched you. Back pain since hold last on, year. Hold on, hold on, just a moment, please. All make sure if 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 your prayer request has not been collected, please. I want you to wave it. Jesus is still healing people. You just come join the queue. God bless you. Yes, please. Back pain since last year. Can you sit for a, a few minutes? Just sit for a few minutes, and then we're done. Let's just hear the testimonies. If as you are hearing the testimony, God is still healing people and i want you to make your way and then come to okay go ahead pastor Alpha. my god the... god is still touching people i'm seeing people being touched even in overflow three overflow three check yourself right now and make your way yes please you go mentioned ahead. the case of back pain she's been having the problems this last month back but pain. she's healed now how long come my dear 
Let's have another mic, please. Anytime we're doing this, please, technically, it should be a standard procedure. You should know what we're doing, please. So that we don't delay unnecessarily. How long, my dear? Since last month. Yes. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare it never returns again by the power of the Holy Spirit. Back pain gone forever. Heaviness in the chest disappeared. How long, my dear? Just when you came here. In the name of Jesus, hold my hands. Um, I'm seeing someone. You had something like a, a growth around your neck. Check it now. You'll be surprised to find out it's gone. Gone completely. Gone completely. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Gone completely. In Jesus' name, I declare that every operation of darkness over you is gone in Jesus' name. Give Jesus praise. Deafness in the left ear since 2012. Since 2012. Oh, come on, Koinonia. How long, my friend? A man of God told me about it in 2012 and I prayed, but I was hearing those B sounds and I don't hear really. Which of them? The left ear. Put your hand there now. In the name of Jesus, it never, never returns to you by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes. Also, you mentioned also. Also, how long? Yes. Okay. Where are you from? Kaduna, sir. Kaduna State. Yes, sir. That's where you are from? Yes, your state of origin? No, biologically. Biologically, where yeah, are you from? I'm from each Patal Court. I mean, I'm from State. There's a reason why I said this. There's a lot. You don't know where you are from. There is a long story. Leave the issue of healing now. Where? Eh? I need to pray for you. Don't feel bad. Huh? Look at me. Where are your parents? Who are you staying with? My mom and my, my stepdad at Kaduna. Okay, it's okay. I'll talk to you. Eh? Father, help this gentleman. Because this gentleman is a great gentleman, but there is a lot I'm seeing in your life. I crush the hand of darkness over your life now. And I declare be free in Jesus' All, name. Sir. Koinonia, you are pain. not celebrating. You are so used to miracles in this place. He was feeling the May pain, but as you prayed for him, it left. It's gone completely. How long? Since July. July. In the name of Jesus Christ, may the Lord perfect you. Apostle, you mentioned someone with pain at the back. It was her for the past three years. What's your name, my dear? Juliana. Juliana. You mentioned something, the lower... Uh, the lower back it, pain. It affected her left leg also. This pain in Check her back. Check it now. Check it. Check it. Any pain? Yes, it's gone completely. Give Jesus last three praise. years. <laughs> In the name of Jesus Christ, it never returns to you again. Please make sure that we have the request. If you are still yet, if you are still with your own, wave it. Just wave it and an usher will come. Look at that man. And you are sitting quietly there. You wave it and let them know. Pain at the back, completely healed. Pain at the back. You fell under the anointing. Ah, see you looking. In the name of Jesus. It's, it's a good baguette, my friend. Huh? If you fall under the anointing, and your destiny arises, it's a wise bargain. Is that true? In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare, never again in your life. The power of God is coming on someone in overflow one. Overflow one. Please carry the person and bring the person. Overflow one. The overflow by the roadside. Overflow 2, sorry. Overflow 2, I meant to say. Ah, look how powerful the power of God is. I said overflow 1 and nothing happened. I just said overflow 2. Then I now went to say... She's had pain on the left, left shoulder since How long, my dear? Seven. Let her talk. How long? Seven. 2007. You've had what? I've had this pain. It will come and go, come and go. But today it has been intense. But when you mention the case, the pain left. It's gone completely. Check yourself. Do what you couldn't do. Up, down. Come. In the name of Jesus Christ. I will pray, but the person I'm talking about is overflow two. Overflow two. The overflow by the roadside. So you bring the person. In the name of Jesus. Perfection for you right now. In Jesus' name. She's had serious um, back pain that back she pain. had to start horse riding so that you can correct. But today they asked you to ride a gone. horse? Yes. Who said you should ride a horse? The doctor? 
or just advise us. <laughs> don't, don't listen. She's shy. <laughs> the horse. This is the man. It's amazing how you come for koinonia minding yourself and you are surprised to see people just carrying you and you are wondering where am I going to? The anointing. Amazing. Let me just talk to them and then don't worry, do your horse thing, eh? I'm just happy that you are healed. So you can go and ride your horse now for fun. In the name of Jesus, you are perfected, completely perfected. In Jesus' name. I take away this proverb called Ichabod over your life and over your family. I'm speaking to both of you now from Overflow 2. In the name of Jesus, I set you free. And I decree and declare that that proverb shall no longer be mentioned in your life. It will no longer be Ichabod in Jesus' name. I'm coming here, but you are the one I'm talking to. Where eh? Debbie? It's not the this person. You hold this one. Don't worry, they'll hold her. In the name of Jesus, the Lord is saying He is going to use you to change everything in your family. It will be like a dream, but He is going to use you. He's making you a savior over your family. Don't ask how it's going to happen. It's by the anointing. The spirit entered me when he speak unto me that God is going to use you and change everything in your family in the name of Jesus yes go ahead she's had severe menstrual pain since she started menstruating that resulted in serious back pain how Came old are you now pain this evening sir how old are you now 21 21 and she's had severe menstrual pain yes and she came here with the pain today but the don't pain believe is gone. that thing oh in the name of Jesus I cancel it forever amen. say amen by the power of the Holy Spirit, severe menstrual pain goes back to hell. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Yes, sir. She had headache, heaviness in the chest. Heaviness? In the chest. Okay. And then she had severe headache. And as she prayed for her, it totally and, left. And what? Hiccup. She's... The heaviness used to make her hiccup. She was even hiccuping during the service. But as she prayed, she's totally healed. God bless you. Look at me. Where did you come from? Kaduna. Kaduna State. You are going back, eh? Where's your mother? She's in Bauchi. When are you going to see her? I'm serving in Kaduna, so it has to be December. December. If I, if I give you an instruction for your mother, will you obey it? Eh? Look for 1,000 Naira recharge card, eh? Yes, Send it to your mother to bless her okay. and watch what happens in your life. Amen. You just do what I ask you to do. It's not some superstition. Please, you get my point. It's just the law of honor that will trigger something. I release my faith with you. Your mother is going to pray one prayer for you that looks like she's playing. But you watch what that play will do in your life. In she had ulcer, peptic ulcer. As she prayed for her, she was totally... Peptic healed. ulcer. How long? Put your hand on your chest. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare, peptic ulcer goes back to hell. In the mighty name of Jesus goes to hell forever she also had ulcer but she also had kidney inflammation she used to feel a sharp pain she's been healed of the ulcer now when she presses the place before press she it. Will feel press it press it any pain no pain gone completely no. come on koinonia may god forgive you may god you people have seen signs and wonders too much to a point that god bless you he had a sharp pain in his left side okay you mentioned it and then he also used to experience dizziness that he would just be standing be dizzy and then slump but as you prayed for him he was totally you just slump like that yeah they may even have to catch it it happened, it happened once august august 26 you just slump like that yes i was falling and then my brother caught me come what if you fall down like the epileptic patient that used to fall inside fire the devil would just wait until you are crossing a bridge then that wicked spirit will come because he comes to steal to kill and to destroy in jesus name i set you free you are free now you are free forever in jesus name back pain disappeared he's had back pain for a long time back pain sir know. yes in jesus name let it go and go forever never to return again in sometimes the two eyes go blind other times only the right one go blind but now he's totally healed he can see with both eyes have you gone to the hospital for this but sometimes you just go blank like that come in the name of jesus put your hands on your eyes i decree and declare perfection for you by the anointing of the holy ghost in the name of jesus christ he's had back pain for a long time he's healed now back pain you see god is when 
there are messages behind miracles you see that god is healing a lot of back pain because it's a revelation it's not just the bones are what give structures to a person doctors tell us that means that by this miracle god is speaking through it right like he's doing the miracle of ezekiel 37 the bones coming back it took the bones to come back for an army to rise therefore i'm praying that everything that is out of order out of joint out of place in your life by the anointing that is characterized by these miracles let there be a restoration of it in the name of jesus christ amen and amen god bless you yes please go ahead so back pain he came here with waist pain sorry waist pain he came here with how serious long pain 2014 and now it's gone. try to turn it's gone he Completely. squatted for me and um, no squat you've not you did it for him yes. you didn't do it for me ah, okay. it looks like a footballer gone and gone forever in jesus name apostle you mentioned so he's laughing on, until he fell under the anointing a buzzing sound in his left ear and he couldn't hear yes, oh okay you mentioned it and he was hearing the buzzing sound all through but as you mentioned it it's gone now what's your name sir yeah since 2014 for the past four years it's gone completely the left give totally jesus praise healed. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and I declare by the power of God, never, never, never returns to you again. Apostle, her left hand, the middle finger, she couldn't bend it at all. She has gone for treatment. She couldn't bend it Which at one? all. Which one? The middle finger. The How long? One. Last year. Why couldn't you bend it? I don't know. I bend it now. Let them see it. Look at this. And then as you were praying for the lady with menstrual pain, she also had, as you were praying right now, she came for the testimony. The menstrual pain also left. Let it go back to hell and never come to you again. In the name of Jesus Christ. She had weak. Your father's salvation. Ah, we are experts in praying for salvation here. You need to find out how God saves people here. Where it's not that God saves them, it's how He saves them that is a sign and a wonder. I was preaching the series on um, reality of heaven and hell. And there was one malam. He came for koinonia. He was seated outside. And while I was praying, he, he was studying his, 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 his let me study your hierarchy or what? He was studying something like that. And then all of a sudden, he just, I mean, koinonia just disappeared. And he saw a vision of heaven outside, overflow one. And the Lord Jesus was talking to him. That's how the guy got born again. Remember years ago. The gentleman that came here, that gentleman that belonged to a cult group, yes. you, you know the, the guy, that funny guy that came outside thinking that this is some harbourless place. As soon as I climbed here, all that the guy saw was, I hope he's still in Christ. But as far as, <laughs> yes, the one that slept three days on a graveyard to get power. And so when he was here and saw power, he said, ah, there's power here. Whether it's demonic power or God's power, there's really power here. In the name of Jesus, there is grace that saves men. We declare that your father comes to the genuine saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. God bless witness you. Was Ill. When we take the last person, that would be also that we can. Yes, In please. overflow three, witness overflow three. body pain. So as you went outside and you ministered, ah, she fell under God the power God visited overflow three today. Oh, this miracle service was for overflow three. As she fell under the power, she stood up perfectly whole. Completely. It's gone. In the name of Jesus, it never returns to you again. Yes, please, go ahead. She said she was feeling headache and then generally she wasn't feeling fine. But and as you prayed, come, my dear, in the name of Jesus Christ, it goes here. Her body is even hot. You can see that her body she is came ill, cough, she, but everything is. In the name of Jesus Christ, it goes forever. Next person, okay. please. He's had um, back pain for a while. During the seven days fasting program, yes. he was healed, but yesterday the symptoms came back. But right now he has been permanently what, what was the issue sir back pain back pain come you see that you see the, the thing again i'm telling you miracles are messages in jesus name back pain goes and goes forever yes she's please. had serious kata since 2010 that lasted for three years is, is that kata and came back again but right now she's completely healed completely healed put your hand on your chest lord jesus let this lady be perfected now perfected forever I bring you the anointing of the Holy Ghost forever healed forever perfected and the Lord is saying I should tell you he's bringing restoration 
restoration to your life in Jesus now, name now he's had back pain since 2006 and then hmm. as he sat there and you mentioned the case he believed he was healed but the symptoms were still there yes while he stood up from there to come here the symptoms disappeared that's number one because god will always honor faith come my friend then the second thing was that he had this chest pain he had done his ecg scan and they told him they were going to place him on hypertension mm -hmm. drugs but while he stood here the pains disappeared the heaviness left hypertension back to sender back to the devil that sent it in the name of jesus christ amen and amen yes please. her grandfather died of this ulcer pain her father has it, her sister has it, and then she's also seeing the symptoms. But tonight, when the case was mentioned, she was completely healed. You see, this, these are the kinds of cases where it's not just a healing for the person. Grandfather died of it, you said, father has it, father has it mother, sister has, sister has it, has it. Yes. aunties. Huh? Yes, Everybody has it. most of my aunties, my, my younger sister, my dad, just all of us. Like where are you from? Delta State, in the name of Jesus, a beautiful lady, the devil should not rubbish your destiny. I cancel this yoke, not just over your life, but over your family. In the name of Jesus, it's gone now and gone forever. In Jesus you mentioned name. back pain, Apostle. She came for personal prayers last week, just on her own personal um, prayers. As she was going back, she felt like an arrow was shot in her back. Since last week, she has been having that pain, but as you mentioned it, Hold the my pain hands. Is in the name of Jesus, look at me. Look at me. Shout Jesus. Jesus. Yes. She please. had this pain in her chest and her stomach. She suspected it Our was lovely ulcer. Osha, you can imagine how hard, how wonderful. Okay. She was suspecting it was ulcer, but she has never gone for diagnosis. But as you mentioned, the heaviness and the pain, Put everything your hand just on your left chest. in her stomach. In the name of Jesus Christ. I command that that devil goes back to hell in the name of Jesus give Jesus praise now everyone please stand everyone please stand oh they're still he's had a very mysterious headache heaviness that just disappeared now as you mentioned the case. in the name of Jesus come my friend it never returns to you again every other person that has been touched by the power of God we declare perfection for your body now hallelujah please I want you to stretch I want you to stretch your hands towards this prayer request stretch your hands and I want you to begin to declare that as you have dropped this request now in the name that is above all names the only thing you are permitted to pick is your testimony lift your voice and declare it in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Ghost. Jacos kaparakatosh, embreke teke teke te, japos keta braha saga da balada, embra posho do preteke te, ekaro sakatosh kalamos, entaro seke teke teke te. Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray over this request. We decree and declare by the power of the Holy Ghost. Lord, let impossible situations please make sure everybody's request is here let impossible situations go please agree by faith as you pray while laying our hands on this request in the name of jesus father in the name of jesus this is a representation of the faith of your people you are the god that answers prayers i ask oh god that you arise arise in power arise in majesty arise in grace in the name of jesus turn the lives of your people around turn the lives of your people around turn the lives of your people around hallelujah i stand upon this request prophetically and i agree with you for some of you the things you have written here the truth is that only god can do them there's no man born of a woman that can do it in fact if you read some of the things for us even us who god has helped will have to doubt and say ah but thank god that the request is unto god father 
we present before you this request and in the name of jesus i declare that this request has supernaturally turned to testimonies they are supernaturally turned to testimonies in the name of jesus christ please stand if you can and receive the last prophecy and impartation I will continue to speak over your life and I will continue to release the anointing on your destiny until until your life becomes a picture of everything that God has said therefore please I want you to humble yourself and open up your heart and your spirit there is a lady you have been seeing you have been seeing yourself carrying children in dreams this is almost all most of your dreams that's all you are breastfeeding children you are carrying children you are with babies in the name of Jesus every fraternity every fraternity with the gate of darkness in the name of jesus i'm praying for those people first i command that devil to leave you now once and for all once and for all hallelujah i'm praying for someone else i don't know why god is interrupting me now there is no night that you sleep without somebody coming to molest you i'm saying once you go to bed somebody must come to molest you whether it's a man whether it's a woman whether it's an animal that must happen to you you get up and physical things begin to be misplaced i'm praying right now for those people that this word is for in the name of jesus by the fire that comes from the throne of god I declare you and that demonic spirit be delivered now once and for all in the name of Jesus now I pray for you if there is anyone here called into ministry or anyone here in ministry but you are not seeing the signs the wonders the results that befit the anointing where are you i pray for you i stretch my hands right now in the name that is above all names i prophesy to your life catch fire catch fire catch fire catch fire he makes his ministers wings he makes his angels wings and his ministers flames of fire therefore i speak over your life catch fire healing fire deliverance fire breakthrough fire let it come upon you now in the name of jesus now i speak over every crippled destiny you are trying to make progress and move but something is pinning you down and keeping you in one place in the name that is above all names by the power of the prophetic i shift you to the next level of your life please believe it i shift you to the next level of your life for all those in business here and you're trusting god to stabilize you are up today and down tomorrow i stretch my hands in the name that is above all names May the grace for strange favor, Shakos Kabarakata, may the grace for favor come upon your business and lift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every helper that must show up between now and October miracle service. Listen, you heard the testimony of the gentleman here. It just takes one genuine helper genuine sent by God I pray for you 
and I connect you to the helper that will turn your life around in the name of Jesus Christ I connect you to the helper that will turn your life around in the name of Jesus Christ listen every family here that is saying Lord when will you visit us when will you wipe our tears when will you take reproach from our lives I'm declaring to you now by the force of favor may the Lord turn your family's life around right now anyone here called barring or you are connected to anyone you know trusting God for the fruit of the womb in the name of Jesus we release their miracle children now I'm praying for anyone here trusting God for a job you are trusting God for a job or you have loved ones that are trusting God for a job in the name of Jesus I agree with you that between now and October miracle service return with your testimony the kind of favor ah, the favor that can turn your life overnight around I decree and declare may that favor and that grace locate you and turn your life around hallelujah now I want you to say amen to this prayer that I want to pray for you the problem that only you will have the anointing and the grace to solve that will pick you and bring you to notoriety in the name of Jesus from the depth of my heart may that anointing come upon you now in the name of Jesus Christ 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 help that mama please listen your relevance is defined by the solutions you provide so when God wants to help you he will carry Joseph and put in him an ability to interpret Pharaoh's dream Joseph interpreted the dream of the buckler nothing happened when you interpret the dream of a man of influence you will not remain in the prison I pray for you again the grace the grace that will cause you to solve the problem of one who has the influence and the capacity to bless you receive that grace in the name of Jesus anyone here or your family members due for promotion and have been kept down either by tribalism or religion or some kind of devilish factors in the name that is above all names we declare their promotion here we declare their promotion now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ now I agree with you whether I uniquely mentioned your issue or not whatever it is you came here believing in the name that is above all names I stretch my hands and I agree with you let it return to you as a speedy testimony yeah. hallelujah Lord in this month of October I'm not I'm, I'm the one asking for you father a dimension of financial increase that your people have not seen this has nothing to do with what you are doing on I'm praying for you in the name that is above all names I pray for you may my God bring supplies to your life this month in a way that will bring tears of joy to your eyes finally I pray for you I don't know what dimension in the spirit you are crying that God brings you into 
for some of you god has helped you in the area of revelation but you truly need the gifts of the spirit to work in your life for some of you you have seen the gifts of the spirit work but you need a higher dimension for some of you you need comprehension into the word of god for some of you you need the grace for prayer you are not lazy the grace is just not there for some of you you need faith and courage capacity to believe god for impossible things it doesn't matter what category i stretch my hands and i declare whatever spiritual blessing you desire i stretch my hands to you now let it come upon you right 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 now in the name of jesus christ let it come upon you right now i'm still praying it let it come upon you prophetic fire let it come upon you visions and dreams visions and dreams let it come upon you the grace to interpret visions and dreams let it come upon you the gifts of healing let it come upon you tongues interpretation of tongues the gifts of wisdom the gifts of leadership administration let it come upon you in jesus name father we give you thanks we thank you i decree and declare the blessing that is upon nigeria the grace that has made nigeria indestructible after 58 years may that same grace keep your life intact if nigeria is not dead after 58 years i forbid death from your life in the name of jesus christ hallelujah you are here and you are saying apostle i need jesus you heard the prayer of our dear lady here the sister that came requesting for her father in the name of jesus listen carefully i know we are trying to settle down in the name of jesus that lady i cause the spirit that that lady you are with i command that devil let her go now look at the kind of wild wild spirit these are the kinds of spirits that that make people manifest as stubborn it doesn't mean they are bad when a stubborn spirit is working in your life it will reflect that's why you find out that they don't listen no matter what you tell them they never listen these are the spirits in the name of jesus christ i set this lady free dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message do not keep the video to yourself share to as many as you can to help them bless check our home page for more of our messages subscribe to the channel comment on it like it See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. Salas kade bash kana kata branda kate katos. Kate branda kata pakotos koto breka teke nekata. The phase of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.